Hey, thanks for sub. This in a while. Wang Fu and Sophie, thanks for subs. Audio balancing is, um, you just can't do it. Actually, it's impossible. It can't be done. So, you know. This is, they certainly didn't. Okay. Let me, uh, let me see if I can get that to work right here. Can't do it. Okay, it's fine. It's all good. Cool. We're gonna start fresh. Let's do it. This is the first time in a long time I've played this, but I don't know if I've played it uh, on stream since I've had the ability to play it without latency uh, affecting the game. This game doesn't run at 100% because it's flash based. It starts to really mess up. game has a lot of stinging stinger intros and stuff that are oh my it's fast wow I'll take some getting used to I was wondering um, how this game felt to play or if it's all just nostalgia or not we'll find out I guess So, if you haven't played this before, it's very short stages. That A plus is important, I need that to unlock the dark version of it, so it's a speedrun timer. Very important. Thanks for sub. We also need those bandages uh, to unlock characters, which I'm interested in mildly, not really, but getting the speedrun time and the bandages at the same time is probably not going to happen too much. Okay, he's sticky, but uh, the controls actually are very nice. He stops on a dime. There's also these things. I was wondering if it holds up in the way that makes Mario look bad, and I would say that unfortunately it does. <laughs> it's a new Super Mario Brothers controls way worse than this. That's what I was wondering mostly because I had said as much when I was playing uh, Mario Maker that somehow Meat Boy had controls better. It's still a little slidey and stuff, but I think the momentum works better. 
That's the main thing. Got that no problem. There's a hundred bandages. I don't probably remember where all the marble. We'll see. Ah, uh, this is not the way to get this. Imagine trying to do something like that in Mario Brothers. Just like, imagine it. Imagine me trying to wall kick that precisely. I think you'd have a hard time making genuinely hard levels with this. Um, that's my first death. Second death. Didn't see that one up there. Because you have so much control. There certainly were Kaizo shit levels, but like, they were not that bad. They were still doable. I still did them. And I don't play a whole lot of that kind of crap. I mean, they had a Mario Maker system for this game. They had that, and I did the hard stuff in it. And I was happy to do it. Oh, that was close. Really, I didn't make it in time? Eight seconds, man. Levels that are eight seconds long. Don't like the squelching? Check this out. <laughs> I can't believe I did that on the first try. It's not easy. Not that easy, anyway. Second try, too. Oh no, I got killed by the top of the screen. That's dumb. Meat Boy, fix that. Patch it. Patch it now. I don't think Commander Video can do all those things he was just doing. Oops. I didn't get the A on this one for some reason. Let me see. So now we have this character. If we want, we can play as Commander Video. Love the music. Tommy's Cabin. We're going fast, right? Let's speed things up. This entire world only takes two minutes. <laughs> if you do it right. I missed the bandage there, I think. 
I'll go back and get it in a second. Whoa! There's a warp zone too. Pretty obnoxious one. Really obnoxious. The timing on it. Because they're synced up so perfectly. A little strange. Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to maybe take some deaths if I really want to do everything. Because one of the things you need to do is um be the stage when she's glitched out and that's random and me dying helps generate that circumstance some there we go and i haven't seen it yet I know there's a bandage in one of these. We gotta hurry here. Not a whole lot of time in this crappy stage. You can encounter Glitch Girl anytime. Pretty sure. Go ahead and do the dark world, right? Or should we wait? Look at Psych up here, what a jerk. Uh, the lives in the, piece, uh, the warp zone just give it a weird challenge factor. Hard mode's engaged. Let's do it. We've earned this. Interesting skip. Because the controls are so fine-tuned, um, the speed runs for this became crazy. You could do so much cool stuff. Uh, because of um, what you're capable of. I gotta dive between those two saws. Stop on a dime, man, and that killed. Uh, would have killed me there if I didn't. That kind of movement, dude. It really does feel real good. This is like the the whole selling point on this game. 
is that it controls so well, and it's still kind of slippery here and there. It's slippery in a different way. It definitely isn't perfect. But, um, what you're capable of doing when it works right is way more than you can do in any other platformer I've ever played. Oops. We gotta go down here, probably. I think maybe we can go across the top with some weird skip. I see that warp zone up there. Oh boy. Yeah, the new soundtrack sucks. <laughs> I don't have that version. I don't want that version. I'm not getting this game on the Switch because of that. Because I can't have this soundtrack. So I have three lives to do the warp zone here. And I'm messing up because I'm taking shortcuts that I shouldn't be taking here. There was a licensing fight with Danny B, so they lost the soundtrack. And the one they got in its place is a variety pack of musicians, and it's kind of all over the place, and it's not anywhere near as good in my opinion. Damn it, that was a bad move. Also, I don't have the, um, I don't think A plus matters on these dark ones, but I might as well get it. Yeah, it sucks. It's definitely one of my favorite soundtracks. We gotta get the last bandage in here. I wanna at least get 100 bandages. I don't really care if I A rank every stage or whatever. Man. Couldn't grab it. There's a lot of content in this game. It's gonna take me a while to go through it all. Let's see if we can get it done in one go or not, I'm not sure. It's probably gonna get pretty rough later and I'm gonna have trouble. the lights, man. Despite the two deaths I took, I feel like this stage is easier in the dark world. I 
I don't want to leave the bandage behind. I'll take a death. Um, I think the, um, there definitely are different characters on the different versions. I don't remember what they are, though. And World 1 is complete. 100% complete. Yeah, I think Braid is one of the ones that's missing here that is on the other ones. Got them all. As far as I know, I got all the um, bandages too. I'm not sure though. What a good song! That's scary. Yo, got them all. Game intro for Mario Brothers. This game does something weird where you can, um, it's kind of hard to explain, but you can hold dash midair to gain speed while falling. It's pretty wild. Here's me trying to skip the stage and dying a whole bunch for it. But it lets you do weird turnings. doing bad. My timing. These things aren't synced up and it's throwing me off. I'm so I'm trying to rush through. It's it's turns like this where the lack of momentum where you can just stop on a dime messes with me a little bit. stuff. Good playing. Expert. Expert level stuff, man. Got 
gonna have to do that one again. I think we go over top, actually. Is it Waluigi? Is this Twitch legal? Do the other characters? I guess they don't, um, because they're probably unlocked by bandages. I was gonna ask if the other characters had stages. Um, all these characters have stages because they're special. They're not just unlocked by bandages. I've never played whatever this is. It somehow has even more disgusting sounds than Meat Boy for walking around and landing. Even squelchier. hard one to get. The momentum of the fans is a bit strange. <laughs> Cheese. Okay. Let's go get the key first, which, um, so to do this, I have to, to do this jump here, it can be done, but it's like, it's really weird. You have to start dashing midair. You don't dash the whole time because of the way it works. The way it functions is strange. So close. Just can't seem to get that bandage. I want to get it first. Falling into it I don't think will work as well. Because of that. Man. I'm taking more deaths on this than I've taken over the whole game. This one bandage. Just being in the worst part of the jump. <sighs> Too far. Its hitbox is tiny. You actually have to get right inside. I know to get held out by something. I always have trouble with this one though. It's just awful because it's fan based. Any any fan based challenge. Fans and gravity wells are my weakness in this game. I can't believe I haven't gotten it yet though. It's being so stingy about getting picked up. I'd almost rather try and bounce off the wall than reuse the fan after grabbing it because it's so picky. Damn it. They just, um, they don't slow you down enough. They're pretty rude. Like that. Like, it takes so long to slow you down when you're falling at them. We got this level beat, finally. That took a lot of- that took like 20 tries. Damn it.
Uh, this one's complicated. It's kind of silly how, how bad it actually is, what we have to do. We gotta catch the key wall. It's tumbling down, man. And it's not on screen. Until it's falling. <laughs> ah, another Mario intro. Alright. Nice jump, professional gamer. I'm, I'm dead. Fuck. It actually, it really is that there's no momentum at all. <laughs> Unless I'm... Forcing it to work that way. Some forcing there to be momentum. There's none. And and then I just it stops cold and it actually causes me trouble. I think it's wild that that's true, but it is. I have problems because of it. Do you remember when people said nose? N O E? Like that? Remember that? Back in the internet heyday, when the internet sucked real bad. Not like now. Not the great place that it is these days. Did I get it? I don't think I got it. I need to do better. Honestly, that's pretty old, even for this. Even for 2010. It's a pretty ancient thing. It's like 2005 internet. It was already out of touch. What if the key just made you do the level twice? Doesn't that sound like fun? <laughs> Great. That's game design. Heckin' fans, man. Heckin' fans. If you get the boost on that one right. I know if you do it right, you can just glide across, but... I'll be damned if I can remember how that's done. Mario Brothers 2, Doki Doki Panic. I love that there's cubes there, as if they add any value. One of the weird things this game does is if you're hopping off the side of a platform, you have way better movement than if you're jumping off of it. You get way more more boost, uh, so you can use that to go out of 30% further, something like that.
this game, I'm mostly playing it to see if it holds up at all. And I would say, aside from the incredibly shitty jokes, it holds up better than before. <laughs> it's, it's a better game than it was back then. I feel like I'm missing a bandage here. It runs better. And um, the movement at its core is just honestly the best that a platformer's ever been. Somehow. There's no bandage here, I don't think, actually, looking at it. There's a lot of good content and the level design is fantastic. We can really cruise. Check this out. I remember the speedrun tech for this level. Let me uh, let me start fresh here. Will we make it? Yeah. I feel like you cannot possibly be fast enough to beat this laser here. Um, so you need to stop here at least. Skip the second one though. This one sucks. <laughs> this one's real bad. This one I had to look up, I think, originally, figure out how the hell you do it. So the ticket is that every 20 seconds the lights go off on those lasers for like one second. That's it. That's the gimmick. Pretty silly. So like, here we can see, I can't jump there, but watch this. Oh, yeah, there you go. Wall jumping, man. It's all about wall jumping in this game for some reason. Uh, for some reason it gives you more height than, um, than this. Like, an entire Meat Boy's worth of height. It's very important in that case there, because that skips a whole bunch of nonsense platforming. How do I get to that bandage? I guess I go way over here. The stage is kind of a mess. Can't believe I died to that one little needle after doing all that work. Yo, move it. Move it, purple. We don't even need that. We don't need any of this crap. I'm not sure if they realized you could wall jump for heights because it doesn't honestly seem like it a lot of the time. A lot of the level doesn't seem like, oh, we just unlocked a robot from, um... I didn't mean to skip the splash screen. I didn't expect it to pop up. I will. I'll restart. I'm ready. Even better music. The Beatus Blues. Ow. I think we can do a fancy jump for no reason here. I'm going to die five times trying to pull it off. There it is. Um, optimizing this is so crazy. I definitely am doing that. It's too good to not do. 
I just have to hit it just right. This level kind of sucks to do the real, real way anyway. Not a big fan of the stage. What's the right side look like? It's slower, but it's still safe. Ah. Ah. I didn't jump well enough there. Ah oh, man, no. It's it's tight. You can barely not make it. I gotta wait this time because I got delayed just a little bit. Ah, <laughs> dang. Man. Trying to get the perfect time on this for no reason. It's really kicking my ass. I should I should probably avoid devoting speedrun time to this because there's so many stages and some of them are actually going to be legit hard down the road here. I'm going to get stuck on this game for way too long if I do that. How do you get that one without dying? That's the question. That's the way. There's ground there. Too bad it's so hard to get. Come here. More fans. Fans everywhere. What if we bit an entire stage out of fans? <laughs> Great. Can't believe I missed it. You can skip some of these fans if you do it right. Apparently that's not happening here though. What the? How do I... There's no quick restart. That seems like a missing feature. I guess you just take a death. <laughs> that's, the, that's the quick restart way. Really good time that time. You wanna hop in and talk about me, boy, psychedelic level? I hear you Alpita once. Oh, what the? There's a fan. What the? Maybe later. Later. This level smells. Getting the side hop on one cube has always been trouble for me. This level sucks too because these things are in the way for way too long. Um, there's not a whole lot you can do, especially about this one down here. You gotta wait for him anyway, so I keep hitting the top of that and my whole dive gets ruined. It sucks. Ah, so one thing we are dealing with here in this indie game is um. We are not dealing with the Nintendo thing where enemies don't move until they're on screen. So that dude down there, he is on a clock, and it's global. He is crawling, and he's in the way for a long period of time. So I really don't have any reason at all to rush this like I am. I'm just being dumb. I'll have to wait for him. These things are huge, man. They're not dangerous unless you're trying to go too fast.
Holy dragon, thanks for the sub. So we have an option on this path. We can take the shitty path down below or the bad jump path above, which is way faster. So if I'm doing that. Ow. Dude got me twice. Ah, uh, clipping, um, clipping edges is a concern in this game. If you touch the edges of boxes like that, you just, you stop moving. That's when your momentum finally dies in the wrong way. So I gotta be real careful when I'm coming down from above and there's wall in the way like that. Man, damn, dumb way to die. Dumb way to die. That's better. <laughs> they started me in the air, what the? Pretty weird. This is supposed to be a dark mode level for some reason. It's really easy. This one's easier than the other one too. All that bandage is gonna be hell though. How do you even get that thing? I must have to fly right into it. Accomplished somehow. I definitely died here less than on the other one. <laughs> Damn it, no walls on these worlds. <laughs> Jeez. I tried to hit the wall, but it was vanishing as I got there. Oh, come on. I know you can do that. I know you can just go. Yeah. Has to be done just right. So we have to grab that key and then go to the center again with stuff falling at us the whole time. I didn't see that bandage down there until it was too late. That's a pain in the ass. Let's get it. That's gonna be one of the hard ones. Oh man! I feel like these things are hard to predict. How do you even get down there? I'm gonna figure this out. Ah, I didn't get the jump. I got down there though. Just walk right off. Whoa. Hey, it's that one level I had to do twice. We don't have to do it twice now, so it's better than before. Better than before. What the? I don't agree with that one, Meat Boy. I don't think I deserve to explode on that one. I don't think so. Oh, dang. That's a big pile. Big pile of stuff.
That guy's so... I'm so impatient in this game. More than I am in almost anything. I just want to try and figure out the fastest way through all the time. I definitely am into the speedrun strategy for this. And they're always in my way. They're so tedious sometimes. These things are very bad. This level in particular, up here, up top, has a huge weight that you can't do anything about. And it, it's miserable. We gotta wait for this guy on both sides. They take so long. <laughs> exactly. It takes too long, I lose my patience. People did make Tofu Bula. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 100 years, this guy. 100 years. I see that bandage. I just know how to get it safely. Something like that, I guess. Oh, one of my favorite things in this game is this right here. I haven't really sat down and watched these, but it shows you every single death you took in a big old swarm up to like 50. Up to like 50 deaths running around in a big old swarm. You can see how they all did. That is one of the best features in this game. It kicks ass. Love that I just aced this stage. Like, I'd be happy with that on any of my runs. That was super fast. I think I could have finished this stage already if I had hurried. This stage is way more interesting now than it was before. I definitely have a desire to push the limits on these jumps. Yeah, perfect. Damn, almost. I like this purple. So that we're supposed to unlock the fan with that key. And this is why here I don't think that they realize that vertical hopping is lower than side hopping. Because we skip all that. Did I get all the bandages? I guess we'll find out right now. Another really good song.
just throwing things. It's such a flash style of animation. He's gonna wrap him up in a blanket. It's fine. We missed four bandages in one warp zone. Okay, so that's two of the bandages in there. I don't know which one has it though. Nice. They fixed the. When, when did they do that? When did they fix Meat World? Okay, we are missing two bandages in the stages. I'm gonna have to look them up, probably. I didn't think I'd need to, but here we are. Um, can't seem to find them without it. Let me see. Two, 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 five. Two, ten. Twelve has a warp zone. Thirteen has one. 15 has a warp zone. 16, I missed one there, and uh, that's the only one in the light world I've missed. When did we unlock Alien Hominid? Where's the bandage here? I did not see it. There it is. I just didn't go over that side. Damn that thing. Trying to be too fast. We're running good here. Ah, uh, the Dark World has the other stuff. There's a warp zone here, that's two of them. And six, okay, so they're right here. I thought maybe there was a bandage here, but I couldn't remember where, and I didn't look. Psych was distracting me by telling me he was eating a burger. Glitch girl up there. Oh shit, and I died like an idiot. Oh, that sucks. Pathetic. Idiot playing. I just got too excited about the opportunity. Where's this bandage at? I don't see it. What level were you on? Oh, there's the warp zone. Damn it. I think it's timed and I'm not getting over there fast enough is my issue. Mario Brothers. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, jeez. I have a strategy for the way the momentum works in this to, um, to do this safely, but it's not working out very well for me. It involves, um, jumping into the middle one, then jumping up into the other one, and, uh, you push to the right more safely then. It sort of worked. I think I need to get rid of two blocks. Ideally. It's probably a better way to do this, though.
And last one. I was wondering if there was one here. I should trust my instincts on where these things were. It's right there, I see it. <laughs> Jeez, that fan's powerful, man. So, according to Steam's achievements, 1.1% have everything in this. And I find that hard to believe, uh, because those three achievements I don't have, and I played this game quite a bit. No deaths on Cotton Alley, and no deaths on Dark World Rapture. Which I feel like is the hardest one of all, Dark World Rapture. I find it hard to believe that 1% of all players made it through of those. Hey, but move boy, let's go to Salt Factory. Let's see another Mario intro. This one's Mario RPG, you see. It's exactly like Mario RPG. Yep. The Adventures of Mario. The Adventures of Mario 3. This level is pretty painful. This one's really severe. I had less trouble with health than Salt Factory, that's for sure. I feel like you're misunderstanding me. 1% is way too damn high. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. I don't believe that. Not even a little bit. One in a thousand is a stretch. One in 10,000 is a goddamn stretch. If we're being real, uh, for what they're asking for. Um, and no deaths on Cotton Alley. That just ain't something people achieve. The first time somebody did it, people went wild. The first time it was recorded. They definitely unlocked it with Steam Unlockers. That's a lot of people cheating though. I'm sure I could do it if I spent months trying. Um, it would take me quite a bit. Which is to say, yet I have to become a Super Meat Boy speedrunner, basically, to do that. And you know, that's just not a common thing. That's definitely not 1%. You don't get 1% of the people playing a game to speedrun it. It's too high. Ow. This one is stupid. This is a really dumb bandage that I'm gonna have to come back for later because it's just impossible. Actively impossible for Meat Boy to get this one. As far as I know, he can't do it. Because you need to double jump. They really, they really bit it with that one. That one sucks. Did a key drop? Hold on. What was that? No, I guess not. So this level introduces worse than fans riding treadmills. Absolutely awful. I did so bad. I need to grab the key to get to that warp zone. That's what's going on. And I need to do this faster to get up here. Getting momentum off treadmills is even worse than fans. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Okay, now here's where they know that sideways jumps are required. They designed around it here for the bandage. Ah, jeez. Bad jumps. Poor playing. Learn to meet. I don't like this aesthetic at all. By the way, not a big fan of this weird shading on these technicolored blocks. Here. We need to unlock Ogmo so that we can get that stupid bandage. If I didn't already unlock him, I'm not sure. I might have. This one is one of my least favorite stages. It's all treadmills. I feel like this one in particular on Dark World, where you have to do it twice, ruined my run a lot. This one also is pretty nasty. Is a sub cell? What's up? We can't get to that warp zone without Ogmo either. Here comes the missiles. There. Honestly, the reason I bought this game, uh, those missiles seemed like a really neat obstacle. I do like them a lot. They're lots of fun. They work exactly the way I want them to as an obstacle. This is not the stage where we go over it. It's a different stage. Probably the dark world of it. Oh. Super Meatball! I can't believe this stage has a narrator. You know what? Splatoon. Yes, it does. It's just the best narrator. Splatoon stole the idea of spraying paint everywhere from this game. <laughs> if only Super Meat Boy also was a competitive online shooter. It should be. It could be. We can make it happen. How am I doing? How's my meeting? So far, it seems you're doing all right. But hey, now it's about time to actually, you know, properly watch the meal. Uh, this was the game that had a really good speed run. That for like five years, only recently did we learn it was fake. <laughs> Yes, it was segmented. This perfect run of this game, but it seemed reasonable for somebody to be that good of me, boy, so nobody questioned it too much. So, do you have a side stream? I could. I could have a side stream. Oh, I read. What kind of person will splice footage? People who are starved with internet kudos. And sadly, this is way more common than you think. Yeah, uh, I don't get it. Not for an official run, I don't understand. It doesn't seem to fit into the community. I could see doing it for an LP or something, when there's no concept of being a cheater. <laughs> What? Yeah, but uh, the whole thing about speedruns is doing it all in one continuous uh, session and making it so that you have uh, as least mistakes as possible. I hate it when they force me to redo a stage for the Grade A, especially in the light world. It doesn't matter in the dark world so much, but in the light world, I had to come back in after grabbing the bandage because the bandage is enforcing a 10 second delay, which is too slow.
is one of my favorite stages that I struggle with a lot. Let's see if I'm any better at it now. This is the light world version. Yeah, now. I mean, to be fair, the light world version is pretty simple for the most part. Yeah, it's over already. Yep. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of waiting to see if you'll be able to do it back and forth in order to get the bandage and everything. In that world? That's the, um, oh, I need the key. She's yep, got the it. Key is... Yep. What the hell? Give me that key, bandage girl. Oh my god. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> got sniped. I died like 30 times trying to get the key, uh, the bandage in one of the hospital levels with a fan. I don't think any stage is going to hold me up that badly. For a while, especially Salt Factory, because these are practiced. It's been 10 years, but I did ace these, so I played them quite a bit to get that done. Well, to be fair, I'd say Salt Factory is. I'd almost say it's mostly easier than Hospital for the most part. At I the very like least, the light world, the dark world, yeah, it's a completely different. Uh, it's a completely different game here. I feel like Iron Man in Salt Factory is a pain. Uh, one of the biggest ones in the game. But uh, that's not really the same thing. How did I not? Oh, I guess because of the bandages, I did not get these first two. Yep. Okay, unfortunately these levels, uh, these, these are in the other levels where you're gonna have to redo the level in order to uh, make it so that you'll get your grade A+. Plus. I was talking about how much better this game feels than uh, modern Mario Brothers. I would compare it to 3D World. <laughs> I guess it would be more fair to compare it to New Super Mario Brothers because they came out around the same time. I mean, 2000? I'd say. Yeah, this game came out like in 2010, 11, right? I think 10. I don't like this level. So, already out the gate, we're taking some deaths on these ridiculous Salt Factory stages. Ugh. You have to fly between these two fans and it's pretty rough. It begins. The real challenge of Meat Boy has started as, oh, yeah. as soon as I yeah, open this up. This is where the true Meat Boy begins. From here on out, there's not really any easy stages. Even Light World Hell and Light World Rapture are going to be painful. Well, I wouldn't say painful. I'm just going to say it's difficult. Love this song. That's why it's not painful, because I have the original music here. Yep. Thankfully, the PC version allows you to cycle between soundtracks. I didn't even know that I could get the new soundtrack. Yep. Maybe it's in the game options. You can totally switch to the new soundtrack if for some reason uh, you want to be blessed with blandness. Oh, man, I'm having a hard time with that jump. I would say the one problem this game has aside from the momentum being very strange, is um, he grabs onto walls that you don't want to sometimes, and sometimes he just lets go of them when you don't want to. He, uh, his stickiness is weird. How did I mess that one up? It's like the only reason I'd buy the game on console, uh, on modern consoles, would be like to do a race because I still do not trust this game enough uh, to actually stream and record it at the same time. Here's an interesting stage where the, the ground dissolves. If you step on the wrong part, you'll make it soft lock on you. You gotta be fast and you gotta think fast. If anything, you might have messed yourself up because doing the jump over the saw blade here from the other side is really hard. I see a bandage. I ain't gonna miss it. Damn. Yeah, for, for this jump, you gotta slide under the, uh, the saw blade here. Like, it's possible to jump over the saw blade, but it's pretty much like a pixel perfect jump. Either that, or you let the bridge crumble and then you do a sideway jump. Looks good. We missed Ogmo's warp zone. Maybe it's in the dark world. Uh, no, it's in the light world. It's just, it's very elusive and kind of stupid. 
How could I forget? Getting old. Forget me Meat Boy. <laughs> Don't remember every single secret. How did this happen? Ah! This for me, I'd say the only reason I still remember is because I did the LP of the game. At this point, it's kind of like a part of my EDM. Uh, DM. Whoops. Ah! Couldn't grab onto the treadmill in time. Yeah, the end is kind of weird here. I think... I wonder if I'd like this game better if he wouldn't... If he would release the wall when I press the opposite direction from the wall. I don't feel like there's any reason for him to stick to the wall when I'm pressing against it. And he does. He loves to hang on for a second. But it might make it worse. Maybe not fine-tune these controls. I'm not sure. Okay, I hope you enjoy uh, hanging on the walls because that's totally how it's gonna be in the sequel. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Where's the key? Yeah, I don't. There's. Yeah. Now we go somewhere completely different. Uh, yeah, you have to go all the way up. Not too bad. I did not gray A it. Let's do it again. It's because I got the bandage. It's messing around with that. Yeah, but that said, this level definitely introduces uh, some of the problems that you can have with the vertical treadmills because, yeah, unfortunately, they're not very well safeguarded anymore. They're annoying. Moving on. Oh, here comes hell. This is yep, my least favorite one. Again. I actually started with this level. Out of all the levels in Salt Factory Dark, I started with this one because I always die here. I just can't seem to do it on the first try. Yeah, to be fair, this level fucking suck. <laughs> Ultimately, it's just a left and right thing, and I still can't seem to get it. Getting him to s just fall straight down is a challenge for some reason. Yeah, because uh, you kind of keep all of your horizontal momentum whenever you jump. Oh, yeah, this level also suck. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it. I need to keep it. You have to do it this way. You have to... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got well, it. The intended way is like to do the slide off the wall. You grab the key and then you launch yourself in the air, getting the key and landing on the treadmill on the right at the same time. That's like the only way to do it while getting an A+. I tried to cheat there and I died. Oh yeah. At this point, it's better to just cheese all of all this way than to do it the intended way because the required jump is not fucking impossible. You're making me want to do this uh, little cheese. I just remembered you can just do this. You can skip this key completely. And, uh, oh, yoink. <laughs> yep. The only problem, however, is that if you do it this way, you might end up actually and not a great A plus single of all, so. Yeah. Crap. Like, the way that this key falls is just, it's too far away from everything to do really reliably. I don't like that bandage uh, either. Everything about this level yeah. sucks. Yeah, I'd say for the bandage in this level, come back whenever you laugh up. He's gonna make things a whole lot easier. So this level with me, boy, is kind of trash. <laughs> it's just too high. It's just barely too big. But yeah, the problem is with whenever you do the jump this way, sometimes you just have this problem where even though it seems as if you leap off the wall correctly, you're not gonna get the side wee key and yeah, I don't know. Personally, I think it sucks. Damn. I'd say the, the key should not have been uh, put on the platform here and probably like on the treadmill. Yeah, the key's no good. Damn. Like, I, I'm pretty sure that like in all of the let's play that I did of the of this game, doing this level the intended way was pretty much one of the levels that caused me to die the most. <laughs> I don't know exactly <laughs> where you need to be on the treadmill and that's kind of the thing you have to memorize. Yeah, that's why that sucks. It's not marked yep. or anything. Like you just, you need exactly this height, and you have to just kind of go for it. 
Ah, oh, man, that's painful. <laughs> he doesn't get speed enough. I did it. Oh, oh yes, all right. Maybe we'll actually do the the big yes. All right. The perfect run. Check this out. Yeah. yeah. Great A plus. This is the most meat boys about ever. about 30 or 40 deaths. Like, honestly, I don't have any congratulations to issue to this level. Oh, we just got Nigel unlocked. Yep. Yeah. Pretty yeah, cool. It's time to fly through all the levels. I gotta stop accidentally skipping the splash moves, because it's good art. Oh, well. She can fly in a weird way. I should play through that game sometime, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of slow. There's only one attack button. Yeah, I could not get into it. Oh, I don't remember what I'm doing with the key here. I'm all oh, yeah, getting the, the warp get to the warp zone. This is one of the, um, I had a lot of fun with any level that's missile based. It's my favorite kind of challenge for me, boy. Uh, yeah, same. It's just, I like this obstacle a lot. To me, it's just, it's one of those rare kinds where I'd say, hey, Henman actually has really good idea. Let's make rocket launchers and make them really, really fast. But at least on the plus side, we make them inaccurate as all shit. That was close. Oh, oh. Holy shit, you locked out. Hey, check out that Mario 3 intro. I definitely am clamoring still for a sequel for this. Give me that. Give me that shit. Stop yeah, making bad well, unfortunately, games. yeah, I kind of have low expectations for the sequel because, uh, well, instead of being kind of like this, uh, it's going to be uh, an auto run. Oh, that's not good. That's what I heard, I think. This one on the right is for the bandage. <laughs> yep. Just... And it's much slower. But it doesn't matter because there's a million ways in order to shelter from the missile. No, the end is nigh is a completely different thing. It's like it doesn't even remotely play like Meat Boy. Like it kinda has hard as hell Meat Boy-ish difficulty, but uh, that's about all that it shares with Meat Boy. Uh, oh. <laughs> the fucking rocket launcher. It's fine. You just gotta believe. You just gotta believe! Yep, there we go! I am going for 100%. Here. 100% or 106 percent Yeah, that. It's not like some evil numbers or reason why it's 106. I'm thinking Isaac stuff here. I don't need that key. I don't even need to mess with it. No, you don't need it anymore. It's only for the warp, so... It's kind of a pain in the ass. Super me. Nipples! I had to think about that for a second, but yes, that is right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but the nipples have never left my mind. Good. They should. Honestly, I don't remember Dark World this being the problem for me. I think it was Hell where the problem started. I beat Hell Dark World flawlessly pretty Dark fast. Dark World so. Hell is nasty. There's, there's some really crappy stuff in there. Uh, the shadow monsters are bad news. They're like these, but five times worse. I can't remember what parts I had trouble with specifically. Probably the tangerine like, stage. We'll get there. Yeah, I didn't fall oh. into the the loser's bracket until... No, I didn't never fell into the loser's bracket. That's nope. the only reason why I survived the tournament, actually, is because I never fell into Dark War. Oh! Yep. So yeah, we are never trying to way back. You can tell because of the song. Oh! The ticket here is to stop two, not three. Then you have shelter from the missile while you're climbing the wall. 
the year <laughs> was what 2012 eh, sounds about right we're adding yeah. a year every time someone brings it up it felt like 2012 to me i think it's 10. pretty sure how's that speed run <laughs> i think i missed a bandage though let me check yeah i think there's a bandage in there I see shit. Maybe not. You can just instantly win this level and move on. Yep. Also, if you're really, really good, it's also possible to jump between the saw blades. Who oh, could do that? There we go. <laughs> yeah, the first try. it's not that bad. Look, I figured out a bunch of speedrun tricks for this game, so it can't be that bad. Let's check the leaderboards for that stage. It's like you just got crushed. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, I guess the reason why I have a time here is because I did replay the game like uh, I'd Switch? say a few months ago. So hey, I no. have time. what is this on? This is PC. If it were on Switch, yeah. it would have the other music. Yeah, oh, the, the bad soundtrack. It, it, it looked a little sharper. I don't know. Uh, it's the same old uh, PC version we've uh, known and loved. Well, I'm same dead. Same old Meat Boy, huh? You only have uh, yeah. a little window to grab this stinking key and this smell bad level. Oh yeah, yeah, this level kind of traumatized me whenever I did the, the dark salt factory no death room. How about this level? Oh, I like this one. Just sit in the square for a while. Yep, slow and steady. At least in this version of the level, you ah! can wander outside the I sphere. did not mean to go in there. Solomon! This is something. Because here, this level definitely looks like the inside of a fish. Oh! I need Ogma oh, for that! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I was gonna get the bandage and then I realized I can't. Can't do it. Nope, need on more. Have you uh, gotten any glitch modes yet? I saw one and I died. They just I don't think I up. ever got all those. I don't. I got really close to 100%ing the game, but I don't think I got it. I didn't get all the achievements. That's oh boy. The story. Moving on this wall when it's moving is no good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the, these platforms are really buggy and finicky as all hell. But this was literally like the first massacre, like, right? That's what they call it, massacre or platform. Yeah, massacre, yeah. And I, this was the first game of that kind where I was like, oh, this is actually really fun. Yeah, the the big the big thing with this game, like being what it is, uh, and why it's fun is because. For a game which is extremely hard, it has a surprisingly kind difficulty curve to it. Damn. I thought I yeah, could pull it off. You don't actually there. need to do Dark World shit. What Smite's yeah. doing. Uh, Celeste was the second game I played of that kind, which I did this year, and it was really good. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I could not get into Celeste. I really enjoyed it, but I did not get through 7B. I got three i got a quarter of the way through i haven't played the hard mode of it yet oh really you haven't i was i was wondering if you did i beat the did regular you do the b game. sides no oh shit you used to do the b sides i only ran through the main story and did not get all the berries ah <laughs> ah this level that ledge she's on is hard to reach yeah, and it doesn't help that there's salt just below the ledge where she is. That'll speed me up this time. Yeah, and I never I never did any of the C or special stuff or beyond. This level's easier than the light world. Oh, yep, no. somehow. But the next I'd one's not. rather have the solid platforms over the big wall of crumbling blocks. This is pretty nasty, this one. Uh, this one hurts to look at. Yep. The urine zone. Some choices were questionable. Unfortunate. Ah, oh, If it were, like, silhouette maybe yellow on gray, 
If there were a third color. Yeah, but uh, I guess they kind of went a little bit too heavy on the color palette in this level. Here it is. Stage of yeah, pain. All right, let's see how long a smite stays on this level, especially if he wants the bandage. Okay. Oh, man. Ah! It's like at least on the Xbox 360, this was kind of easy to do because uh, you had the character that allowed you to rewind time, but... Uh, oh, you yeah, cheated, I see. <laughs> it's easy to do because you cheated, don't you? I mean, I didn't have that version, but hey, I kind of had the ability, the opportunity to play with the, the other character, and I was like, okay, uh, with this character, probably is way easier. Going back in. Oh, yep. yeah, that's how you do it. So watch out because, of the, oh, yeah, that's right. You can also just go there. Also, this jump kind of sucks. This jump sucks. Okay, all right, now don't die. Please don't die. <laughs> oh, no. You did this on purpose! No, you. never. I don't you die on things. Perfect. Yeah, I'm what sorry. What are you talking? Yeah, two against one. Smite two against what? On purpose. I just want to enjoy more missiles. I did this level too well. I better do it again. Yeah, I think so. Better do it again. We can get it done faster. Uh, yeah, to answer your question, Smite, you're not getting a greedy plus and get the bandage all at once. Yeah, I don't I'll do whatever that. I like. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Check out fake gamer Smite. Oh, yeah, that would be a good idea for a show. Ah! Oh. The fake gamer. I still really enjoy it because I was watching, um,. Some arcade pit videos recently and just the you can count on smite thing was probably the best i could think of oh, yeah. thing that that would be in the game because you you played that it, i realized like you know looking back at it you played it you know to your advantage because you were playing a fighting game and that had an impossible scenario you could not have won Nah, he totally could have won. He just did not try hard enough. That was one hell of a shot, man. That, I can't believe that thing hit me there. That was okay, one you're ace. playing the main game right now, Smite, but uh, just a little question like that. Uh, when are you doing Max Jumper? What's that? Uh, it's, uh, it's a chapter for this game. You love it. I'm ready. I think I've done it before. If it's one of the special worlds. These are yeah, it's on, the, it's on Super Meat World. I think I did all the big Let's ones. See, Max that. Jumper, Minneapolis, whatever. Yeah, all the good stuff. Yeah. All the classics. I definitely did those at some point in my life. <laughs> Probably during the LP. Oh. oh, God, you almost died the same way. No. Yes, what? I almost had a heart all attack. Right. I want to do a missile shot here to speed it up, but it's not working out. The missile's not on my oh, side. The tech. It would be nice if you'd be on my side a little bit. You got to run over it and then the missile has to hit there. Is that how it works? Yeah, it goes through the one that's still dissolving and hits the one below it. Right, yeah, that's the optimal play. It looks real hard. Well, that wasn't too bad. Oh, I forgot about the missile. Yep. I mean, to be fair, it kind of blends in the background a little bit here. Oh! I think this game was like the best example of, oh, games teach you, well, good games will teach you gradually. It just demonstrates that so fast. It's like watching a time lapse video of like a plant growing over time or something. Your, your gamer brain is growing as you play this game and die repeatedly. Oh yeah, totally. Subtle movements, subtle increases in responsive time. <laughs> I'm too impatient. I think this is my fourth beard tonight? I don't know. It's Friday, right? I don't have to go on the work tomorrow? It's Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. You tonight. gotta work tomorrow. I'm, I'm joking. I know. Damn it. I didn't get the jump again. Thanks for the uh, sub voice I can't hear. I appreciate it. It's monthly. <laughs> oh, I didn't run off too much. Damn. Give oh, yourself that old three years, thank you. on a Monday. Hey, when oh. that happens. There's 
Sorry, but there's no Friday here yet. Not until two more hours. Yeah, I'm further back. Oh yeah, Lousy Smoky Weather. Hey, let me tell you about the power outage we had in Montreal today, which lasted um, almost the entire day. We missed I think six hacking bandages. Is vacationing there right now. Well, to be fair, three of those bandages are Ogma required. Yeah, and finally, I think you missed two warp zones. I oh, know, mm. no, you, you missed only one. I'm looking right now at what we missed here. So on on World X, there's one on three, five, six, and seven. So we missed six. And oh back. yeah, yeah, level six. The bandage is over like the top portion of the level. Like you kind of have to do a I precarious leap out of the box. Heck, <laughs> stupid. All right, got it. Next. Oh, there we go. Seven is done. Eight is the warp zone. Got that. 14, 16, and 19. I missed 14. Salmon. How did I? Oh, I yeah, you I need Ogmo. You need Ogmo. Right. Damn. Yeah, I might as well just go and get him. He's in level 316. One, two, and four. Four. Oh, yeah, let's right. get him now. Um, They're like in specific places. Do yeah, they have requirements on them? So, yeah, just stand on the three pixel uh, block building here. This warp zone is gonna come to you. Pretty dumb. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't remember that. Like, how could you forget that? That stupid as all hell random warp zone. I enjoy this cutscene from Mario Brothers 3. <laughs> Why is every cutscene <laughs> from Mario 3 now? That Luigi jump. No, he's a Uji. Ogmo is just better, better than Meat Boy. Just Meat Boy, but better. <laughs> so he'll uh, solve mean, these problems. He's not as I fast. I would say he's better. I would say he's better, he's... but he's slower. Easier to control because he's slower. And he has double jump, which is very nice. Very well done double yeah, jump. Yeah, but the big problem is that once you get the kid, the Ogmo becomes completely <laughs> worthless. Well, the kid's super busted because this game is great and he's m made for it. This game is full of garbage, and he has the stuff to beat it, so he's got all those techniques. And they gave him one of them here with double jump. Oh, I'm dying all over the place. Ogmo sucks! <laughs> so this is who you play Max Jumper They with, call right? me Mood Swing Smite! <laughs> Did you get the kid already? Is that a thing you do? No, no. The, the kid is not until World 5. Okay. The I kid's remember levels, completing that. I remember streaming this game and I couldn't do his because stream lag made his levels impossible. I <laughs> 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 yeah, remember the good old days where this game just came out and it needed pretty much all your computer resources. Otherwise it starts skipping frames and uh, you will just fucking randomly die. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna hold this. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna play this game, but it's gonna hold my computer hostage. Oh, weird. Uh, hey, it's like it's it's. By the way, it's like Machinarium's 10th anniversary or something. Congratulations, Joseph. Well, I wouldn't say the game works better on PC now. I will just say. PCs have gotten better, so therefore, whenever the game hicks up, it's not as bad anymore. Well, I don't have to use. Adobe Flash Live Media Encoder 3.1 combined with Japanese screen capture software to broadcast. So there's that. Just like I remember, just the fact that recording audio in Audacity at the same time than uh, playing and recording the game will just uh, make the game melt down. Oh man. I don't have to use untranslated Japanese screen capture software combined with Flash's crappy live media encoder to attempt to encode on the fly. 
a 30 second delayed broadcast. I so just that... remember the way this game would fuck up when you tried to run fraps. Oh yeah, this game is totally not fraps friendly. Let's see here, we have one, two, and four is Ogmo required. That's an Ogmo, you that's periodically... that you, you, you took a 8-bit meat boy. It might be faster to just bust in his meat boy and then choose him from the menu. <laughs> Pretty dumb bandage there. I'm sure Frap still exists. Well, yeah. it exists, but it it hasn't really been updated in a very long time. Yeah. I mean, OBS does exactly what Fraps does, but very conveniently. Yep. OBS the word does what Fraps don't. Yes, stream. And record will. The salt and right, that was the warp zone we were missing. Yeah, I knew this when I saw it. I just couldn't get it because, um, yeah. Well, that was close. Whoa. Uh, but to be fair, you could have also gone in this uh, with Commander Video too. Oh, yeah. This is the original Mario Brothers. <laughs> yeah, um, the arcade game. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Remember yep. when in Mario you just were trapped in a shitty fucking tunnel? That's the worst Mario game. That's easily the worst. I'd rather play Mario Teaches Typing or Reads, whatever, anything. Or what about Mario's Game Gallery? Mario Goes Back in Time. This is an incredibly bad bunch of stages, too. What, what the heck? Yep. Also, yeah, if you destroy all the blocks like you just did, the hard chances, you're not gonna be able to make it all the way up here. You're yeah, right. dead! One too many there, I think. I mean, to be fair, we did play Mario is Miss. Crap. I'd rather play Mario. It's such a fun experience. It's got more content than that shitty arcade game. It sucks. It's bad. I mean, that is technically true. This freaking bandage wiping yep, me off. Yep, gonna pull off the perfect wall drill. They just ran out of ideas here. Who streamed Mario is Missing? Was it Smite? Yeah, Smite I streamed it. I've done okay. it. I, remember I, I, I feel like I, I remember begging him to stop. Yeah. I beat yeah, it. They but then I Bowser's think he game. switched to a Mario. Uh, Mario's time. Mario's wish. lost in time. Yeah. Yeah, he got us with a double whammy. I remember getting double whammy. That was clear. Come here, you. You have freaking bandage. I got it on the first <laughs> try, and then the blocks were gone. <laughs> you should see if Mario was missing. Still hold up. Spoiler alert: It doesn't. <laughs> It never, it didn't really hold up, really. There was no gameplay in it. It was an edutainment game disguised yeah. as a Mario game. And even then, it was a bad edutainment game. Our last thing. Is... I don't know, but I... Why would you play this instead of like, uh, hey, uh, we're in the Actually world of Carmen Sandiego. going to New York Sandiego. and seeing the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, or return King Kong to the Empire State Building. Yes, also doing that. Apparently there's a bandage here somewhere. Oh yeah, the no bandage, idea. you have to avoid the saws at the beginning, jump between the, the hole here. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah I saw The bandage is just uh, behind. On a pole of its own. Oh yeah, that's right. You can also quickly do that. So stop it, screensaver. That's a pretty smelly bandage. Pretty stinky. Four bit me boy. They keep downgrading our boy. Yep, after afterward we're gonna switch to Game Boy Me Boy. But yeah, if you wanted like access to the glitch world, uh, I'd say probably the best way to do it will be to beat the boss of the zone as soon as possible because this is what makes it so that uh, you can uh, make a bandage girl fuck up. Is that mandatory? I mean, if you want 106%. Oh, I, I meant to get to the glitch world. Uh, yeah. For the glitch world to have a chance to appear, you gotta beat the, wor the world's boss first. Here's a really easy race with our favorite ally. 
Brownie, who's currently a nemesis. I mean, he's, he ain't really a nemesis. I mean, you're kind of in the same boat here. You're just both fleeing in order to not die. I don't get the dynamic they were going for here. I'm going to be completely straight with you. A monster was there. Apparently, he's not Dr. Fetus's friend. But, this uh, one always felt really janky to me. Yeah, the uh, the exit on the, the stage is weird. Like, half of it is up there. You can use cheat and get the... Right, yeah. The dynamic was shit humor. <laughs> Why did you pull him up already? What's taking so long? Uh, he just does not have the uh, upper arm strength. Like, all his strength is in the legs. And that's it, I think this is my favorite ending scene. Man. <laughs> yeah, that still makes me laugh. Hell! Yep, hell! Alright, here we go. It's that classic Mario vs. Bowser intro. That was Bowser back when he was in, he was in the in vitrio. At least give him credit for for you know working in. Oh no, he's actually dead. And he went to hell where he belongs. Yep, there we go. Now this is where the game officially becomes difficult, even in the light world. I hate this part where I'm waiting. This I don't think this this. This set of levels doesn't bother me very much for some reason. I think it'll be easier than the last one was. Light World is okay. I don't think uh, I'll have too much trouble with it in general. The hell part is pretty similar on both planes. There are a couple stages I know will give me trouble, though. The one with the oranges coming down the wall. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's going to be bad. This yeah, freaking saw is mistimed. i got to figure out how to get that bandage and still go. I wish I didn't have to wait here. <laughs> this sucks. It's your uh, favorite mechanic, waiting. Yeah, waiting. And also my other favorite mechanic here is having the game to suddenly frame skip and kill you while you're on the elevator. Yeah, this is where most of the shit went down. Yeah, this level... When, from what I remember. Moving platforms are bad luck. And uh, when the computer's lagging, they just mess up on their own. Yeah. Yep, this is what happens when your entire engine is reliant on the frame rate. Alright, here come the oranges. Yeah, they're not dangerous yet, they're just being introduced. But this is what they are. This is what I mean by oranges. They're just there. I don't have time to do the level right. Yeah, which is good, because if you do the level right, then that's the way that the level just tricks you by making it so that uh, the oranges just end up spawning in order to kill you. I always like this level, with ah, the mechanic of the saws just uh, freaking jettisoning down. Yeah, I like this one. Here's the level that sucks real bad. Run. Oh, Weeby. Yeah. This level in Dark World is probably the worst one for me in this set. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that said, I think the portal levels are pretty fun. Yeah, it's too bad that and... uh, they kind of toy with this uh, idea a bit and then they just freaking give up on it altogether. I gotta hurry up. <laughs> That's okay, part-time is... Uh, okay, part-time was six seconds. I was gonna say you have plenty of time, but not anymore. Like, somehow Portals is like the one level mechanic of the game that never took off. Like, I've never seen a Super Meat Boy 
like Super Meat World chapter or anything that made any use of portals at all. People just don't want to think of portals. Damn. Nope. Damn. I had this and I messed up at the end. I gotta do the hard parts. That jump there is pretty rough. Uh, yeah, when you're trying to speed run it. I always am. I did that on the first try and I can't reproduce it. Uh, every time that happens, I just... Oh, <laughs> That's it. This is the fun part about portals. Yeah, they don't shut off. They just, they're just still there, yeah. so you can go right back in them. Damn yeah, that, like well... The, like, the window of time for portals uh, to be, like, inactive is very tiny. Speaking of which, the window for that jump is even smaller. There it is. Should have went straight for the portal. I feel like I can cheat here. Oh, I, I need the key. That's right. Yeah, we gotta do the dark world to cheat. Key. Dark world I will cheat by using my secret lockpick power. There you go. Yep, there we go. And by the way, that's the grunting that made that work. Oh, lasers. Oh. oh. <laughs> I like this enemy. Yeah, I think, uh, I think my big problem with hell is the oranges. Uh, nah, I'd say my big problem with hell is the fucking hell moss. That's the oh, worst we obstacle seen in the yet. game. Yeah, that's the worst obstacle of the game by a very large margin. I think my problem here is that the eye is not destroying blocks, and I thought he was going to. No, nope, it doesn't. No. Damn, I gotta figure out the pattern I'm gonna set up for this. So I can skate after I grab that bandage on the way through. Yeah, I'd say the easiest way to get it is instead of getting the, the bandage by going around. Oh, okay, I guess that's the yeah, way that double works. Back. We fooled him. But yeah, you could have also just uh, went through the level like in the other clockwise motion or anti-clockwise motion, so that you jump in the box and then you leave and continue working your way downward in order to keep dodging the laser. This is a good level. <laughs> no personally, there. personally, I prefer the Dark World version of this level because, ironically, it's easier than this. Anti-clockwise is a perfectly cromulent term. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a warp zone up there? Uh, yes, there is. I don't know how to get to it. I gotta figure uh, that out. You see that crack in the ceiling just next to the steel beam? You gotta jump through there. I'm warping! I'm warping! Oh yay! Game Boy <laughs> yeah, Warp Zone! Ah, uh, but that's uh, it, I think it's probably the better one uh, of the game. Paper Mario. Shut up! Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, I didn't get the bandages, it's probably there. Damn. Uh, There's one. Is the laser still going off? I can't tell anymore. No, it's gone. Okay. That's a hell of a bandage there. Yep. Oh, yeah, this the one. of a lifetime to get it. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna make, make this happen. By hoping. Oh, all right, there we go. It'll last until I run out of Mario games to pretend it references. I mean, so far we went through like 3 million Super Mario 3 references. We can keep going. I did miss a bandage, I think. Uh, no, you didn't. Final oh. bandage is here. Ah, it's in the wall. Ow. Yep, you have to dig through the rubble. Damn, damn, gotta wipe out. Gonna have to do that stupid bandage again. Yeah. 
think it's on the right. I'm a completionist. Ah, there we go. You got it. Damn. Oh no! How could this happen? <laughs> How could this happen to me, me boy? No, actually, that was Super Mario 2 in the intro. Damn. Hey, Mario 2 totally had keys. That's right. I bet Paper Mario has a key or two. Nah. No I played all. all of them. Oh, yeah. How could this happen to me, boy? <laughs> <laughs> The oh yeah in front of that implies that I would know what the hell you're singing. Oh. <laughs> Here we go again. In box zone. Alright, let's just dig through all the blocks again. I'm a completion. It was fun the last time. Wait, it's the bandage is in here? Yeah, the bandage is on the upper right. Uh, I'm a completionist. Like he's gonna dig through all of the blocks even after he gets the bandage. I'm a completionist. Hey! Yeah! Pretty funny. Abaddon. Here they come. They're here. Just They're like coming. Super Mario Tree. These things are dangerous, boys. Uh, okay, yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah, these things fucking suck. They don't wait for the old one to stop shooting before the new one comes out. They don't give a shit. Yep, they were just like rocket launchers, except they got clusters. I gotta get the bandage on this level. Yep. You gotta get the key, which is in the upper left corner. Just hidden in the wall in order to just make you think that it's a button. Dang. Yeah, it's like you you literally have to fake out the hell more before doing the jump because most of the time it's just gonna catch you when you're way up or down. Yeah, there we go. Dang. The laser boys. Remember how to do the transition through the two parts, right? The laser boys. <laughs> nah, you, it's like you barely miss the key like twice. I mean, to be fair, the key here is literally like two pixels big. Got it. Finally. Yep. Well, don't choke your way to the bank. Ah! Love it. Need Ogmo here. Yep. For no reason. I've been oranged. We can disable the teleporter on these for just a moment and mess up the orange fire. Yep. Let's um, let's bring him in. I've been oranged. Orange again. It takes up the entire wall. Take your fucking vitamin C up, Mo. Mystic, thanks for the sub. Let's do it. This level smells bad. Helmos, but hey, at the very least, this one is slow. Because it's got so far to travel. Not because it's slow, it's traveling far. It's going at well, Helmos. It's traveling far and it doesn't shoot fast. I like this level because you can just um, cheat. Yep. 
but yeah, he better cheat. Well, I did not this cheat. time, but hey. This level is simple enough so that you don't really need to cheat. Damn. Oh. Let's do the cheese. <laughs> the patient elevator. That's it, however, I really like this level. It's like the perfect uh, grab bag. Yeah, it's not bad. Not gonna be ready. There he is, he's that chomping. Was close. Whoa, okay. There's definitely a whole range problems going on here with the sounds. That's all 20 of them aced. Now we have the dark world to do, and I'm, I think I'm missing one in the light world. Let me see. Uh, now you're missing two orb zones. You're missing one in 48, and the other one is in uh, 418. Two warp zones? I think I know where this one is. Two warp zones! Yeah, okay, warp zone is you see the gray stuff on the ceiling, you have to jump there. Those are breakable blocks. Oh no, Mario was burning in hell. He always is. That's what he does uh, between games. Oranges! Yep, welcome to the orange warp zone! <laughs> this one's smelly. I just start it fresh. Like an orange. Exactly. I don't know how I'm gonna get this one out. Yeah, it's, you, you need a really good timing in the jump, or you need Damn. to hug uh, the, the wall of orangers. I had it. Because the spawners themselves will not kill you. That's cheating. Oh, yeah, sure, because we're totally above cheat. Oh my god, what was that jump? Impatient jump. No, I mean, you somehow managed to narrowly miss every orange. What do you think about that? It's like... Alright. <laughs> that's the stuff. Where am I? Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> uh, the way is upward, uh, not the... Uh... I see that now. A little late. Hey, buddy, let's go. What's up? I think it's possible to do a wall jump in order to uh, get yourself. <laughs> that's not cheating. That's using the game mechanics. Cheating. I was about to do another loop just to make you mad. <laughs> run, run, run man from Run Man. Boris. So yeah, warp zone is right uh, right next to the the Helmo spawn. It's on the right in a hidden wall. Down below? Not just above, right beside. We got some grinding noise going on. That's okay though. I know who this is. Now you see that's Dr. Mario here. Just hate a pill. Okay, <laughs> the terrible sound is gone. Hey, we are inside Meat Boy. I never noticed that before. Yep. Oh boy, this thing so controls like a wrench. Nuclear tears. 
Oh yeah, Flyer Ranch is unfortunately uh, very, very janky. <laughs> Let's get to work. Oh yeah, you don't want to do the boss before the the dark world, just in case uh, you want to get the uh, the glitch world to possibly spawn. No, I wanna I wanna see the stat screen. It says I did a good job. It's important. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Much like the stupid idiot skip that I'm trying to do. That's one meat boy wide. Is important to me. Yeah. Personally, I could never do it. Exactly one meat boy in width. Thanks for subway. One meat boy with the most sensitive air controls. It'll be fun to watch the replay and just see one successful meat boy. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. It's um, timed so that if you don't do it this way, you can't get um, the platform right away and you don't get a good speed. It's important that you do this. So that you can just, just barely, you can make it off that. It's really hard, even with the success. It's not easy. Love this, the bass on this song. Ah, that's a hard jump. Oh good, I'm back for the song that makes me feel like I'm just having a panic attack. <laughs> Damn. No! Almost did it. The saw blade too. The, the platform timing was perfect, but so was the saw blade. Yeah, personally, I think I, I didn't even use like Meat Boy to to do speed runny shit for this level. Dang! Why is that Pretty lava gonna be there? Then I will just use the kid in, in order to just abuse the double jump here. He's slow. You gotta get a bad time. No, who's about to get a bad time? Meat Boy number 30? Nah, I mean, he's already dead. Probably has no skin. Oh, oh no! Why did jump. you have to mess up this jump? It's fine, we'll get it, we'll get it again. Someday. <laughs> Alright, pretty good. Yeah, I'm sorry, we're we're never gonna see a proper Meat Boy 2. I'm still gonna play it, but uh, yeah, I can already predict uh, it's not gonna be great. It's like Super Meat Boy is an auto runner. No, 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 no. It's like, I don't know, making a Mario game and suddenly decide to make it about, uh, I don't know, what the kind of gameplay will work the least with Mario. Versus mode. <laughs> now, versus mode works well. We've proven it in our last stream. Yeah, we proved it in Mario 3. I mean, Mario 3 versus is great, too. Especially yeah. if you do the battle mode in uh, Mario All-Star. going to go next? Oh, yeah, Mario Visual Nuff. Step aside, uh, 999. We've Damn. got... Uh, Nine mo nine toads, nine doors, nine hours. I'm having a hard time with the stage. Getting the bandage just shouldn't be that hard. Because it's not that much slower than just going. Ah, it's too close to the law. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. Generally, I don't bother with the, the bandage here. Oh god! Oh, all right. Ow. I have time for oranges. I do yep. have time for that one, I guess. But this next time I won't. No time at all. Oh, he's hitting the wall and sliding upwards like he likes to do. Instead Wait, of... you can pet dogs in uh, <clears throat> you can pet dogs in Luigi Mansion 3, and yet you can't in freaking Link's Awakening. That's bullshit. Not pet the dog in Link's Awakening. Well, Link's just not a nice guy, and Luigi is. Link is violent swords. Yeah, it's just like after you rescue Bow Wow in the Link's Awakening remake, it's like every time you get in front of it, 
of Bow Wow's house, like he always lunges so enthusiastic toward you. Like yeah, he because he wants to fucking kill you. No. In the beginning of the game, he wants to kill you, but afterward, he's like, yay, thanks for saving me. You're wrong. There is no character development there. The, the desire for murder still remains. Chain Chomps do not know love. They are I'm sorry, but Bow Wow knows love. <laughs> oh, I hate this stage. All right, here we go. I hate it because that second jump you have to do. Get the jumper off this wall around. Also, it's being real stubborn about saying I'm touching the wall there. Yep, I'm sorry, Ooh. but my Bow Wow will not kill anyone. That's a rough jump. He's rough too. That's nah, fine. It's right there. They indicate exactly where you need to go. Here comes Hell House. Mario Tree. Oh, this is it. Oh, I didn't go up. No, no, you got stuck in the tiny freaking thing. Oh, yeah, Mario Extreme Beach Volleyball. Ah. And you get to see every polygon on Mario's picks. No problem. Hell House done. Comes the uh, hyper version of this stage. I mean, it, it ain't really that much hyper. Essentially, they added like four sub. There's not too much more in this stage. Just the levels being doused and just replaced by a lake of freaking solids. Commander video! You're dead. Commander video! <laughs> You're, oh. Ah. Yeah, that's uh, that's rock, the other rock. thing you have to take into account. You have to go up while you have to go down here while the saw blade is up. <laughs> I like how he sounds like a dying insect when I miss the film. He is only a man. Ah. Like somehow that was the first warp zone of hell that I found. Because, hey, all the all the warp zones are hidden except for this one. Oh, is this Super Mario one? No, it's Hotel Mario. I don't know. I don't see any hotel. Close. <laughs> you almost let him have it. Yep. Oh yep. no! Close. Yep. If you can see more, <laughs> yep. I'm sorry, the four bit levels are kind of bad. Bah! Wah. I mean, their design is fine, it's just they look. Yeah, it's like the freaking squares are epilepsy inducing. Oh. Oh. Can you jump over? Yeah. Bandage girl. Yeah can, That's you, yeah, can you somehow jump over Bandage Girl? The hardest challenge yet. Oh, all right, there we go. It's time. This is the ultimate in bad stages. Can I do it quickly? Oh, man, this one. Ah, oh, the bandage. I didn't think that saw was going to go that far over. Uh, yes, yeah, sadly it does. Okay, we got that. And I. You can't really afford to stay in here for too long. These oranges bounce a lot. That's the problem. They, they're they really weird. I mean, to be fair, the, up to the beginning, the level is completely the same, but this is where things get different because there's like two freaking spawners here. We need Got to it. do it faster. Yep, there we go. Ah! I, I can. I remember the way my hands felt when I was doing this. <laughs> Pretty busy there in that one little tunnel. Yeah, I can believe Smite is racing Super Meat Boy again. All right, when are we doing this? I've had practice. You're gonna have to run through the whole game to warm up. Yeah, I mean, I did that a few months ago. I'm, I'm all fine. I'll recruit the guys. Let's get them together. 
Get the guys. I'll do fine until Dark Worlds. That is if we even raise the Dark Worlds. Oh, I, yeah. The, the only reason I made it as far as I did in the tournament was because when it really, really fucking mattered, I practiced my ass off. I like this color scheme. I think this is a nice looking place. Oh yeah, I like I like the look of this one. Yeah, the donovals that are like silhouetted this way, like uh, they're they're really nice looking. To me, it kind of just helped Damn. with the more hand phases, like on the backgrounds. Ah, that one, that one section. Yeah, th yes, you, you, for this one part, it's best that you actually stay in the corner because there it's a safe zone. You can just wait there and just wait for the perfect opportunity to do the jump up in order to fancy. I did it on the first try up there and I can't reproduce it. It was good enough on the first try to almost make, it was just a little, little bit slow with the bandage. I knew this level would be a problem. Ah, that's so fast. He doesn't fall fast enough. Oh yeah, that's right. I have another idea for a race we could do. A race of expert remix. Because hey, this level was an expert remix and I think you had to go through it back and forth like three times. That sounds right. It's done. You got it. Out of the fun stuff. Not so bad. If I can go fast enough, I can beat that saw. Yep. Really get a good time. <laughs> you come up full speed out of these portals, man. Momentum is conserved through portals. I did not make it fast enough to get my ride, which is really annoying. Oranges. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Braid was totally released before this. Mm -hmm. Jeez, that's annoying. Wow, he didn't jump. Yeah, I'd say the best way to do this level is with Ogmo and you just use like his double jump in order like to keep the the, tr the teleporters like in a certain glitched up way so that you can just uh, ascend through this without doing the little run around the, the ball and chain over there. That sounds like the best way is to cheat. It is so fucking stressful to get to that platform in one cycle. Yeah, that's what I want to do because I know you can. But yep, just barely. Oh, oh. <laughs> Too slippery. Yep. And I'm probably not gonna help smite with my reactions. Oh, that orange is always in my way. Consistently forever in the way. <laughs> Damn it. Almost. Ah, you hit the corner of the saw blade. Damn it! So fast! He's so fast. The speed at which this game plays is part of why it's so hard. Well, me personally, this is why I like it. It's like at some point you just learn to fucking embrace the speed. You become speed itself. It's a really small window to stop moving in between those two saws because I'm moving so fast. It shouldn't be hard. It's not a hard thing to do. It's to stop moving, but it is very quick. Oh, I didn't think we'd make it there. Damn. Let go of the wall, me boy. So sorry for one, I'm a sellout. I played Binding of Isaac at the, whenever it was on Steam and never on new grounds. I forgot that there was a new grounds version. 
Damn. Bought the game. Yep. Remember the good old days of Flasher Isaac. Yeah, actually, because I never really played the the other one, so. Uh, I'd say going going back to Flash Isaac after having played Rebirth. Uh, oh boy, it's uh, it's really hard. I ain't doing that. I saw Ooseworm doing that recently, actually. Yeah, it's like I saw him do that just as I was going to sleep, and I was like, oh my god, why is he playing this fucking antiquated version? I can't believe they're making oh, me yeah, cheat with yeah. Ogmo. I still don't, I don't see any problem with it. What the hell, Ogmo? Will you please jump up the wall? Yeah, it's just that an overall uh, reap is just much more polished and fun. They're making me get Ogmo's bandage over here. It sucks. All right, now to do it again to get the best time. For the third time, because I didn't finish like a fool. I should have finished instead of starting over for the bandage. Wow, Ben, this cheater from the leaderboard with his time that went over the part time. Yeah, seriously, what? Garbage play by a loser individual. Uh, that one corridor is just hell. It's hell. It's awful. I mean, we are in hell right now. It's all hell, yeah. Damn. Okay. Hell is essentially being in a tight and narrow hallway, being assaulted by all rangers. Oh, that soft sucks. It's so tight because of that and the orange, which is just, it just happens to be at the worst time because I don't think you're meant to one cycle that. But because you can, I want to. It's always in my way. Damn it, almost. Yeah, just went a little too fast here. Fortunately, it's kind of hard to rush the orange corridor. You kind of have to take your time. You. Never. We'll get it. I'll be here all night. I'm getting the perfect run of this stage. I'm doing it. Damn oranges. Yes, might to become the next Billy Mitchell. Nah. Very nice. If anything, I'd say Smite is just gonna be the Lance Armstrong of streaming. Uh, there we go. I don't know if that's great. <laughs> that's <laughs> the joke. I like cheating on the stage. It's fun. Oh my god, what a, what a cheater. For real. Can you believe this? Ah, uh, the stage is great. The advanced laser stages are really good. Oh. Now time for super advanced laser. Damn. I don't know how I feel about this one though. Yep. Catching can... keys is a bit dodgy. Yeah, especially when you have to dodge the laser at the same time. I missed it. That's okay, you have plenty of time. You time. It's a pretty long part time, if I remember. Yep, there we go. Still got it. But we can do better. Oh god, doing the stage backwards. Uh, this level is fucking great backwards because the thing is yeah. that you can just rush the level. Yeah, you can. It's like the other level, it's impossible to go fast, but this one, you can totally go fast. What if we had? I survived that. A million launchers. Oh my god. I mean, there's oh, two. Oh my god. I didn't get A. Okay, fine. Yep. Gotta, wow. gotta do better. Yep, you gotta be faster than light itself. Being A means being fast, not being lucky. We were only lucky, we weren't fast. I, when I was playing this game the first time, I could have sworn the way to do this was to fall directly down the eyes, and I couldn't figure it out. It, was, it made me quit for a while. <laughs> but there's I mean, these. it's possible to do so, but the problem is that, oh boy, it's pretty much like a one of a hundred uh, chance of doing the drop properly between dodging the eye, dodging the spikes, and dodging the elmo. 
think in the in the let's play I actually showed uh, how to do the, the drop. Yeah, you can. It just took a million tries for me, so I gave up. Frame perfect. Frame perfect. Ah! It's blocking the whole road. Greedy oranges. The oranges will stop at nothing to get all the wheels. Oops. Didn't go through that the way I thought it was. Going through it. Now backwards this stage. Yep. With a faster moving platform. At least for the stretch. That's a tough bandage. What the? Yeah, there we go. These are the good old moving platforms I remember. We had our first glitch death. Oh, I blinked. What the hell? We finally saw the good old uh, moving platform death. Oh, God, yeah. Ah. Having the hell moths follow you around like that is also great. This level's not a good one. Jeez. That's perfect. What are you talking about? I don't know why it has to take so long. Yeah, the, yeah, the big problem with this level is that you have to go through this long and dreary opening every time. And we need the bandage, too. It's awful to get. It just sucks. Yep, you need a really quick jumping. Damn. It's so stubborn about letting you pick them up that it just doesn't work where they put it at all. Yep. That's why they put it here, because it's infuriating. Bastard. Yeah, but that said, it's possible to cheat most of this level by doing a wall jump around the area where that top saw blade is, and you just chill there behind the walls here while waiting for the platform to be in position. It's this level again. But we need the bandage yeah. this time, so we can't cheat. Not really. Nah, you can still cheat because, hey, as long as they didn't modify this level, there are actually two bandages in this level. And each of them is on uh, the layer, the two layers of the level. There's one on the top and there's one at the bottom. Is it an extra bandage? Yep, there are two bandages in here. Oh man. Got it, finally. But yeah, there's, on, there's also another bandage hidden downwards into the left wall. That only counts as one, right? Yeah, it only counts as one. If you pick either of them, then you get the bandage for this level and both disappear. Oh, this thing is so fast. This launcher's yep, going nuts. Yeah, it's a fast small launcher. Jeez. Uh, he eats the floor, unlike the lasers. He blows them up actively. Yeah, because uh, the shrapnel do heat away at the floor. Damn it. It's really hard to do this for some reason. It just doesn't want to let me through. Ah! Well, it did let you through this time! <laughs> Damn! If anything, I'd, I'd, all, I'd say here, try to... You probably should try to perform the, the trick again, where the mall launcher just stops shooting. I think this one keeps launching at you, though. Damn! I can't believe I'm letting that thing well, get me like no, that. Well, not if your timing's right. Yeah, it's harder them. to perform in this level because of the fact that this small launcher is a lot faster. Where's this other bandage? Ah, jeez. It's on the wall on the left. We gotta get them both. Oh, <laughs> Why are you so fast, you jerk? Why are there spikes there for no reason? Oh, that's nonsense. I was in the wall. But yeah, but yeah, the only way to actually do like a, a good uh, deathless run of the Dark Hill will be for this level to set up the, the thing where the mall launcher just stops shooting you by only uh, destroying one of the blocks of the... <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. 
Well, the thing about that is burgers. you do not have to get the bandages when you do those runs, so this is way easier when you're not fucking around with those. See, I gotta stop jumping so high. Because they shoot five instead of what I feel like should be three, um, they always get me with that diagonal one. That's the worst one for me. Yeah, I don't know. Personally, I always feel that the clusters for this just have highs and they just happen to launch in angles we're going to get. Jeez. I hate that sound. Yeah, this, this level is great. I mean, this, def this level definitely shows, uh, in a nutshell, why hell more suck. Man. Can't believe I haven't this gotten This might that be the hell more level, if I'm thinking of it. Uh, one I hate the most. Nah, I, I still say the level I hate the most in the lot is probably patience. There's easy ben ways to do this. Yep, dark cotton alley. Okay. That's the level where you stand in a square room with three more launchers right, and uh, yeah. the path to the exit takes something like 20 yeah. or 30 seconds to open up. Um, Light World Cotton Alley I had kind of mastered. But Dark World was just way too much. Oh, come on. He hit just through the wall, World really. Just Dark is just weird because there are parts where it's much easier than the Light World and other times where it's a million times more unfair. I can't seem to get a, a um, reliable way to get this guy to not kill me while I get this bandage. He's always Yeah, I don't know. I'd me. say try maybe hog the ceiling as much as possible in order to make it so that the mall launcher will shoot uh, the wall above instead of shooting. Oh, nice. It actually shot in the chamber altogether. Oh, God. Uh, I don't... That was, uh, that was going well for a time. I really am frustrated with how tiny the hitbox and the bandages are. They seem especially mean to grab. They seem tinier than they are. I can't believe I didn't get it there because I went through it. And I had to wind back around because of that. Damn it. Oh, too much. I might just wind them back and forth across the room. Just gotta watch yeah, out for that one. Yeah, that's probably the best move. Like you gotta kill as much time as possible while eating away his, at the walls the least as you can. I don't feel like I need to kill time because the elevator part's pretty easy. I'm just, the only reason I haven't beaten this yet is because I want to get both bandages. <laughs> when, I, when I get down here, I'm ready to uh, try and get the other one, which I'm not sure where it is yet. Man, there are just so many of them. They're so fast. They really cranked them up here. That sucks. He died in some weird place and fired early. Oh yeah, the replay for this is gonna be great. Sure, we can watch it. Yep, there we go. Oh no! Oh, no. I, missed <laughs> I missed it. Not on purpose. You know how we it is. We saw that. <laughs> I found it. Uh, You've been on blast about this. I mean, that's the best way to be. Yo, I'm, I'm if that were the enemy, I would have died. But when, when it's the band, I'm sorry, but work. I am totally a fan of uh, panicky voice smite as heard on fearsome races like Piggle. <laughs> that was close. I love dying to stuff. I'm yep. a stuff dyer. I love dying to things and stuff. So at this point, should I just install the game and see if I can beat the game while Smite is stuck on this level? If you can just beat the game, yeah, possibly. That could be before he's done 100%ing it. No, oh. I mean, just this one level alone. Ah. Damn. Because so far it seems as if we could be here for a while. 
Wait, so that I almost had it twice now. Almost two perfect attempts. Oh, nice shot. Uh, Demon Maw. Uh, yep. Yeah. Like I see these fucking clusters, they got highs. See, how many? I think they need to in eight. Either in eight or in ten cards. It looks more than eight. Yeah, it's say probably ten. It shoots too many. Ten or twelve. <laughs> too many. The answer's too many. It's a radical enemy. One of the worst ones. Ow! Like, if it were eight, this would be probably reasonable. Yeah. But the thing is that the angles on this are... aren't really, Never like, clear-cut. It's like it's all sort of angles, and it varies from shot to shot. It depends on where it dies. We gotta get both like Sometimes the clusters seem to travel in perfectly straight lines, and other times they just have these weird tiny angles. Dang! Dang! Gotta get both bandages. Huh. This is the dang, one. Dang. No, it's not the one this time, though. It's guaranteed. After this one. I'm gonna evade that diagonal one this time. Nope. That's the same one. It gets me every time. That one shot. Alright, hold on a second. Ah. At this point, I'm too lazy to, uh, to, to launch steam. <laughs> or am I? Damn it, man. Ugh. It's so hard to predict what's going to happen with him sometimes. Oh, all right. There we go. That's the ticket. There we go. Oh, my God. Yo. We don't need and to wait there we for go. We got all the bandages. Also, yeah, what the fuck? Why was the platform there? It cheated <laughs> because of the cutscene. It was playing without me. This one's a wild, cool stage. Advanced yeah, elements. Just like, yeah, just like the the final level of hell, but uh, hellisher. Definitely hellisher. Actually, this part's easier, but the eyeball part is really specific. Yep. You gotta do a weird jump that I'm not pulling off yet. Yeah, first you land on the platform on the right, and then you jump right while hugging the wall. And then we can grab the key. Yep. And jump right around him. Final maw. There we go. Hell has been defeated. And I forgot I to watch the replay here. Of the Nobody reminded me, dang. Hmm? On the um. Oh, you didn't watch the replay. I got up and you fucking did it immediately. Yeah. This boss oh, sucks. Oh, do you have this memorized? Yeah. Uh, from here on out, all the bosses are bad except for the final boss. This is nah, fast you actually jump at the right time. Well, I'm not generally, dead, ju so. generally, generally, I'd say a good time in order to jump is whenever he blinks. This is smelly. I don't like this boss. Hmm. All right, but so far you definitely got a good memory. Same thing. And one final at boot.
Hey, the squirrel's okay. Uh, yeah, about that. Yeah, you see, this is a uh, Valley of Bowser in Super Mario World. Are you ready for the bad stages? What do you mean? I like Light World Rapture, but uh, Dark World might be another uh, set of buffs. Ah, it's great. I'm gonna sit here and just get the uh, the achievements I'm missing, starting with uh, no deaths on this. Oh yeah, good luck. <laughs> I have Light World I mean, done to be fair, actually. It's doable because I did get it, but uh, yeah. Dark World Rapture, I do not have. Yeah, neither. I got all the light worlds except Cotton Alley, and for Dark World, I did Forest, Salt Factory, Hospital, and the end. You see that Mario Kart intro? Yep. Oh, yeah, also this warp zone is fucking brutal. Ah, oh, he held the wall. Dang. I don't like that he does that even when I'm jumping. Like, I'm not holding left. He shouldn't be grabbing the wall there. That's what's throwing me off. I should have to hold up for sure on that one. I just need to not be connected to the wall at all before I jump. So I'd rather just not yeah. go that yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, do it this way. Well, I'm nearly out of lives here. Oh! I didn't touch Whoops. the wall, I went too fast. I mean, to be fair, being out of life wouldn't have mattered if you actually managed to beat this level, because then you would have gone in all your lives back. Yeah, that was my final try. Ah, oh, these. Got into a death state there. Yeah, like I said, this, uh, this warp zone is brutal. You have to do it a very specific way, it's not flexible anymore. happens that I was doing it the way I kind of remember, so I have that going for me. I'm coming in with some knowledge. Jeez. Yep. Didn't go fast enough. Better not hesitate. We still need two more bandages and two more stages after this part. Yep. And this level does not have the bandage, so hey. For the bandages in these, we have to beat all three to get either one. Yep. As after picking them up, we have to do all that. Damn it! That part sucks. Yeah, it's like you have to land on this ledge, but you must not overdo the landing because otherwise you're just gonna run straight in the spikes. You can jump through those two saw blades, but it's not worth messing around with. You don't need to. Yeah. It's like you're gonna have to do it whenever you'll be climbing up the final skyscraper, but yeah, for the other one, it's not worth it. But there we go. That's the kind of landing you need. Ooh. I'm dead. So kicking. Oh, or not. <laughs> They won't oh let me through! <laughs> ah, that sucks. That's just too fast. Oh my god. Can't do anything but exactly what they want, and I hate it. I don't like being railroaded. Ah. Bad stage. Hellman Mario Kart, my favorite run.
Ooh. All right, that was actually a nice entrance given the circumstances. This is a slippery peep move. Yep, we did this bad stage, but the only problem, there are two more bad stages, especially this one, which is the worst warp zone level in the entire game. We gotta go all the way back through it to get that advantage. Yep. You have to play the entire level twice. And it's not as if it's an easy uh, level either. Like, I'm sorry, but this is a dick move. Making you replay the whole level another time is not difficult, that's just tedious. Well, at least I have this music. Like, at this point, I cannot tell the difference between the soundtrack and your voice. Oh my god, you actually did that on your first try. Like, I think the last level isn't too bad, but there's a part or two here and there which are really dickish. And also, don't waste too much time here. The saw blades are definitely here for your soul. Oh. oh, yeah, that final jump sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be it. Yeah, it all rides on your ability to do this jump. Or we'll have to do that at level four times, because we'll have to do it two more times. Yeah, I don't know. For this one, level, <laughs> they definitely got you. Damn. It's really clunky. I know what I want to try to do next time. If I survive, I'm gonna aim for the wall. Ooh, all right, here we go. Yay, freedom! Now we can do one level and <laughs> the first level again, I'll be back in. Yep, no time to waste. That's a tough thing to do, but you can do it with uh, a little bit of momentum at the right time. Yep. Just gotta do a time your fall right. And personally, I like this level as a speedrun level because it's so satisfying whenever you get all of the things to fall together just fine. The shitty orbs have appeared. Yep. One of my least favorite things. Like, at least in this level, they're a team. It's just the moment that they start asking you to do delicate jumps with uh, this. Eh, uh, yeah. The Dark World version of this level is my worst level in the whole game, I think. Yeah, I think in order to do, to get, like, really good times on this level, I think I ended up using uh, Run Starman, whatever his name is. And then just zoom through the entire uh, gravity orbs. There's nothing up there. I thought there was. The nope. bandage is over nope. there. Yep. And the bandage, uh, I think, require. Yeah, the, the bandage definitely require a double jumping character. That sucks. means now this race actually matters. I don't think he can get it either. Yeah, maybe you need another character he's or... Not, he's not making it. Like, I'd say either Fly Ranch or Nyjo, I'd say. I don't remember using them ever. Let's come back. With the kid, maybe he can do it. He probably yeah, can. Yeah, maybe. I bet it's him. He's not too far. We'll be He's enjoying those levels. Far, but real he ain't close either. What, what is the switch? At? Uh, yeah, you were too slow. The switch is uh, on the wall on the on the left here. Great. But yeah, I, I definitely love also the rapture aesthetic and 
Okay, uh, I'll admit a uh, very dark secret, and I like it because, hey, it's easy to make good-looking levels with it. It's like I could never make a good-looking forest or hell level to save my life, but hey, Rapture, I could get away with it. Damn it, that key, man. My key, I keep missing it. It falls so fast. Heavier than Meat Boy, though. Great. Yep. Also, by the way, you you saw that warp zone. Yeah, that's kid over there. I'll grab him soon. I want to beat yep. the level first. Hey, you gotta be fast to get that warp zone. Yeah, Hell is a very pretty world, but to make a good-looking Hell level, uh, you need lots of. Like there's plenty of uh, background tiles and everything that you must use really well Dang. in order to make them happen. Oh, right. Dang. <laughs> Dang. no guess cat's word. <laughs> ah, here's Luigi. Pain time. Yep. Let me do this to my first try. Second try. I mean, first level isn't too bad. It's difficult, but very it's, straightforward. It's memorization, it's just... and I don't remember it. You gotta do these jumps the way they want. Again, you're being railroaded. Again, and it's very picky about it. Oof. I don't know, maybe it just doesn't phase me as much, because, hey... Super Meat World requires even more memorization. A lot of it's the shitty air control. <laughs> How do I uh, get him to fall straight down? Well, he doesn't really like to do that, and here you're forced to do it. And sometimes he does that weird stuff where he slides straight up the wall. It's weirdness. Meat Boy weirdness. So yeah, in Expert Remix, you have to do this level with Meat Boy, but... At the very least, they change the level a bunch in order to make it possible. Like, the level doesn't look like this when you play it as him. Yeah, it's not so bad. Yep, there we go. This part was impossible on stream lag. This part right here. Yep. There's too much. Because, <laughs> hey, when the moment the frames per second start dipping weirdly, oh boy. I feel like this is... But yeah, this all fucking suck. However, it shows this all has literally nothing to do with the kid's abilities. It's like it all relies on your ability to move left and right, dodging spikes that have a very unforgiving hitbox. I feel like it's clunky and it lies about whether or not you did it a lot. Honestly, like I don't feel like I messed up on any of these attempts. Honestly, I don't agree. Uh, so that's the problem we're gonna have to run into and solve. It's why it thinks I'm losing here when I'm not touching those. Maybe I should yeah, run all the way to the wall. But yeah, I'd say the kids' warp zone took me about 20 minutes to do the first time, and I'd say 15 minutes of the these minutes were on this level. Yeah, that sounds right. The next one's not so bad either. Gah! Yeah, the, the last level of his warp zone is actually really fun. I have to do this twice in a row. This yep. dumb walking back and forth, and it's not working very well. It's super And it's bad. even worse whenever you're making your way down, because then you have to start thinking about doing your moves, like, way ahead of time, because, of course, you're on a platform that's, like, slightly higher than the spike, so that makes it a little harder, like, to do your moves uh, accordingly. Ah. It sucks. It's so long. Yeah, long, slow, boring, and difficult. <laughs> it's just, this is garbage. It's like, but that's a, this is one thing, however, that I will never. F Boy, this game destroys your attention span. <laughs> I feel like this level here, I've turned off my broadcast and suddenly I was able to do it. It's that kind of level, and it might still be the case. Did you broadcast this when you played it? No, I didn't. It wouldn't surprise I played me. this all by myself. It wouldn't surprise me if any CPU usage at all makes this level way harder. It feels, um... 
like it's bullshitting me on these, and I don't... I don't know, it just seems like it's stricter than it should be. The moving platforms aspect of it just doesn't work right in this game. Nope, that really doesn't. Especially with the way the engine has been coded. Ah, <sighs> I went too early on that one. So essentially, does that mean I'm also gonna have to stream this and just in order to see if I can achieve 106% faster than you, or...? If you want. I mean, at this point, why not? If I if I can somehow handle uh, streaming and playing this game at once, then yeah, that probably will be an interesting stream too. Don't forget to get both bandages in the hell stage. All right, I guess I'll do. Man, the same place, the same clunky <sighs> garbage zone. Yeah, like I said, the part where you go down through that tiny, spiky hallway is just the worst. Ah. Uh. Like, going up isn't as bad because it's easier to get a feel as to whenever you need to dodge. But, I uh, know, when you're going down, it's just a complete load of shit. Man. I need some kind of timing on this so that I can just not look at the screen and do it because the screen is lying about where the spikes are. This stage is worse than almost anything in the game it's referencing. By the way, there's nothing in that game that's this shitty, uh, because the, the moving platforms in that game don't work this poorly. Yet yeah, somehow, even though that was a game that was made like with the frickin' multimedia fusion. Sure was. Like, I made a bunch of games with multimedia fusion, and even then, I don't, I don't think I ever got, like, uh, moving platforms to ever work the way I really wanted to. There was always like some sort of weird quirk. Here we go. All right, shit part time. Ah. Hopefully I can get the fourth part on the first try. It should be easier. Part three is the hard part. Oh yeah, moving platform is definitely not this game's strongest point. Timing isn't working. My my strategy. This is all memorization, I think, because timing. Trying to time it doesn't work. Just figuring out when to run and just doing it over and over again. Getting into a rhythm. That's all you do. Also, because... yeah. Don't remind me about the fact that they actually like hard coded like the password or whatever of Super Meat World in a way that the people could just brute force the password and just enter the database and just delete all of the levels in there after the dev saying everything's okay Stubborn. like the moment that happened that killed the entire level design as seen for this game Stubborn! Yep. This would feel so much better if they just didn't have Mario hitboxes on these spikes. Yeah, it's like there could have been like an alright level uh, designing scene. This. Dang. It's this like one... the level editor in this game wasn't the best to use, but you could definitely, you know, achieve results with it, like pretty decent results. <laughs> And then they fucked up the level editor by improving it, and then, yeah, there was the whole Super Meat World fiasco. Which I'll probably never forgive Man. for. I don't like that it's not let me through there. I don't know what to do about it. I'm not learning anything. <laughs> and my timing just isn't working for what they want. Yeah, it's like, that. that's a shitty thing with this level. It's hard, like, to uh, see, like, what you actually did wrong in this level. And every time you go to try again, it's like it's about a 30 second uh, long waiting sprawl. Yeah, if I can even get through that part on the first try. Which is 50-50 uh, at this point, I feel like. Stop moving. It fell out of my pattern. This game is definitely spike heavy. This isn't the kind of map that would be uncommon for it, but it's not. it doesn't feel this bad. Which is weird, because Meat Boy, I was talking earlier about how it feels like a really good platformer. 
Um, aside from a couple quirks and the way he sticks to the walls and stuff. But this, uh, moving platforms, yeah. feel awful. Yeah, just like, this level uses none of the things that make a Super Meat Boy like a good platforming game. Jeez, dying to these stuff. Losing my patience. What? You're losing your patience over this gem of a level? Maybe I should let no. go of the run button. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> it's different timing now because of that. I don't think I should do that. Do you use run on this? Uh, generally I run. It's like, honestly, I almost wish in this game there was a way to make it so that if you hold the button, you're you're not gonna run. Because generally, I just keep the run button uh, held on all the time while I play this game. Yeah, that makes sense. That'd be nice to switch. That's the first time I died to that spike. Too bad I can't get a replay yep. of these stages. Oh yeah, because a replay of this level would be exciting. It's like, at this point, I probably will just set up a dual... Uh, a dual cast between this and then uh, paint drawing on a wall. Oh, come on, man. Same place. I don't know what to do about that third spike. My timing is too fast. I'm rushing it too much. This level's designed to annoy. If anyone wonders why I have patience for those shitty Kaizo maps, on Mario Maker, well here you go. They aren't as bad as this. Yep. And if we were doing this in Mario Maker, every time that we will die, we'd have to wait like five seconds to start again. Yeah. It's like, this is a real shame that like, there wasn't more game designers that saw the whole thing that this game did concerning death, and uh, was like, hey, you know what? That's actually good. Oh, all right. Now we try and be as careful as possible on the easy section. Hey, we're finished with that. Oh, thank then. god, thank fucking god. This thing starts out strong, huh? It's easy yep. though. Yeah. I didn't get my double jump that time for some reason. And hey, look at that. This level also totally makes a full use of, uh, of uh, the kid's ability of double jumping. Yeah, it's nice. Compared to the other level. This is the first real level for him in this day. Jeez, the final spike got well, me off. Well, the first level also works well with him in mind as well. I mean, it's kind of not forgiving, but at least it's straightforward enough. It's like the warp zone of the kid would have been great if, you know, they dropped the second level and replaced it with... Uh, I don't know where uh, a shiwar was bottle. He's here. He can go get that bandage. What level was that bandage in? Uh, five five. I forget what the hominid can do. Does he have double jump? Uh, alien hominid. The way that he works, he has a blaster, and whenever you you're in the midst of jumping, this adds light to your vertical momentum. I feel like I'm missing something here with this freaking. Nah, bandage. you can. Yeah, you can just uh, do a double jump from here. Yeah, there we go. I didn't need these guys for this one. I could have done that with me, boy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, maybe. I just forgot how it worked. Also, yeah, they 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 have different physics. The kid is also faster, and yeah, he's also got the uh, way better jumps. I'd say. It's like uh, literally, uh, once you get the kid, there's no reason to play as Ogmo anymore. Here's a level where I feel like if you could manipulate the PC lag, you could speedrun. Yep. <laughs> you could just fall through the platforms. And then you just end up uh, like that one level in Expert Remix, which was that, except they removed the elevator. The zombie boys. Yep, zombies. I don't know. I both like and hate the zombies. Like, they're kind of a nice change of pace, but on the flip side, they're also random as all hit. Okay. I 
So yeah, you do not need to jump here because you can slide under the saw blade, but they can't. They're too big. They're yep. too big. Bigger than before. Yeah, their hit detection is just a little bit uh, more unforgiving for them. And yeah, at this point, it's like good because fuck these guys. Do you speed run this stage? Do you do this wacky jump? Nope. <laughs> I'm going for it. I'm I'm fairly certain that if I did speed run this level, it ah. probably would run, man. Like honestly, I don't think oh. I speed run. Yeah, with that said, however, this is fucking cheap. <laughs> it's like there's no way to know that this is gonna happen until it's too late. Like maybe you can guess it, but. Oh, they're in the way and they, not uh, enough. that sucks. They're in the way yeah. and I hit the switch and they go block me. Ooh, excellent dodge. I feel like you can go up the side here. Uh, yeah. If you do a wall jump, you probably could. Oh well. It doesn't matter. But the easiest way to do it will be with, of course, the kid! But yeah, there's a warp zone here. It's just you have to get there really, really fast. It's a tough wall jump. Yeah, at this point, I'd say uh, switch to the guy. Uh the kid whoops what the oh, i mean that works mario goes to y yep mario takes a v oh yeah that's mario sunshine that's right you've got it Look at the disgusting sun. <laughs> yeah, it just looks like Pac-Man uh, was taking a nap. Pretty close there. <laughs> this type stuff reminds me of Chill of the Jungle. After a uh, skyscraper, this uh, warp zone definitely comes as a breeze. <laughs> Alright, and now here's for the easiest bandage in the history of warp zone bandages. I don't know if I soft locked myself here. Uh, no, you didn't. You can do a wall jump off the bottom of the platform in order to jump up there. Or you can also do what you did, that works too. Like, I'm sorry, but after Skyscraper, there's no comparison difficulty-wise. Yeah. This is so much easier. I'm too impatient for this stage. Oh, yeah, that's, a, that, that's a level, like, where Alien Ominous can be nice. Also, I think I managed to do, like, a speedrun of this level with uh, Captain Viridian, and yeah, definitely it is a sight. This, this freaking level. Oh, I know you can do something like this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just do a leap of fate. Just a little bit lighter right here, almost. I feel like just I like, something like this. Unfortunately, whenever you do that, there's absolutely like no landmark to tell you where you should let off, so. It's no it's coincidence like that I knew how to part. This is my tactic to always land on the cube. I remember. Oh. It works, works like a dream. That's it over. Why are you uh, walking all the way up here? I like to do things. Oh. 
Oh yeah, that's right. But that's uh, if you want to cheat, you can also totally wall jump off this shaft. Mm -hmm. Well, not the shaft, but uh, the outer wall. Yeah, like you can. need to do a really difficult wall jump to get up here, but if you pull it off, then you're gold. Hey. It's not that bad. Nah, it's later. The the the, the tough jump is here. Yeah, there we go. I think this stage really highlights how well Moot Boy controls, that this stage is pretty easy, and this kind of shit would never be done in anything. <laughs> oh, oh no. It's ridiculously tight. Oh, right, it's the shortest stage in the game. Give me that bandage. The shortest level in the game. Even with that. I want that bandage, though. I think the best thing to do in this level is to use run, man, and just uh, do a, a daring run through everything. Yeah, they did not think this obstacle through. Hey, how you doing there? Yeah, Checking out the sights. All of all, let's do all of all the intended work. So and again, the level is kind of poorly thought of because it's also possible to get to the end of the level immediately by doing a wall jump after the saw blade shaft. Like, there's so many ways to break this level that it's kind of <sighs> not funny. It's kind of a bad level. Anyway, this is not a... Like, this part here is fine, but then the... The dude who's just there on top, he's guarding this freaking light orb, and you can't do anything about it. You just have to finagle him away from it if it sucks. I think he's in an awful position. Yeah, that's terrible. I just don't like that whole part. I'm not sure how you're supposed to do it. These things are such bad. They take forever to give you the boost that they give you. They just, they're like fans again, but in circles. Um, they take, I feel like all of them take like twice as long as they should to do that. All right, there we go. That's how you do the level legitimately, and then you have to do this weird um, jump off of the, um, well, yeah. it's kind of, you, you get pushed <laughs> into the platform by it. I'm trying to demonstrate, but there's this stupid ass thing again. They just seem like they're in the worst positions no matter where I go. They're always here. Hey, how you doing? The Glorb. All right, so you can't make the jump. You have to get pushed by it, and um, the weird physics of it's gonna fool you because it's a weird obstacle. It's gonna get you. I like these. Yep, rotating turret. The missiles are back, better than before. Yep, and now we have the homing saw blade shooter. New, actually good obstacles in the rapture. Can you believe it? Yep, too bad that they're introduced like four levels before the end of We gotta grab the key quickly, and then we have all the time in the world to get the dang bandage. Yeah, this level, however, sucks. It's like it highlights why uh, why gravity orbs are not a good obstacle. To get the height, I need um to get the height for that freaking bandage. I need a perfect jump on these stupid ass things. It's terrible. Yeah. Or you pick an alternate character. Essentially, the best character to do this level Jeez. is chill. Man. Because then what you can do is, once that you've gotten everything that you need, you just need to perpetually hover over the uh, over the thing, and you have perfect control on uh, whatever you can land or not. <laughs> My plan yeah, didn't you work. cannot do it this way. I can't believe it's that high up. That's such a stupid move to do. They're, they're like forcing me to switch characters on this game so much, and I feel like they make a mistake every time they do it. They are optional, I guess but um, it just doesn't feel like a good plan, ever. It just feels wrong to force me to double jump and stuff. You can grab this one with Meat Boy, but it sucks so bad. Yeah, These personally, obstacles. I don't think I've ever done this with Meat Boy. I was like, no, I'm not trying that with this character. He's so close, but he's so far. It's because you can fly through, because the center isn't solid like it probably should be. You can fly through them. 
Get up there, you idiot. You absolute joker. <sighs> He's not getting the height. I hate it. I hate that it's this hard. Man, and also it does get a little more dangerous as it goes on because the last one up there is finally able to shoot at you. Yep. And it's not really something I think about much as I'm playing through the stage regularly. Wait, is it actually two launchers? Because I see that this one launcher does not rotate. What the? Yeah, that one up there doesn't. Okay, at this point, I'm, at this point, I'm kind of wondering how they did that. <sighs> you really have to be dead center on the orb to get up there, like a perfect, yep. like that. That sucks so and bad. And then that uh, puts you in a giant freaking aspiral uh, whenever uh, it comes the time to get your control and your momentum back. Yeah, because uh, you're too fast to stop, and also you're lined exactly up with the horizontal missiles. So if you happen to do it while those are firing, you can't grab it anyway. I think I've always done this with Meat Boy, though. I think I need to grab the freaking wall after I grab that bandage. That's the only way safety is happening. Yeah, personally, the way I did it is that I will always uh, switch with Jill because uh, she makes this one bandage a complete joke. What the heck? But yeah, I'd say try going for the bandage and instead of landing back on the gravity, try and land on the wall. Yeah, that's, the that's the ticket. I think I have to. Almost. It's not a dangerous wall. Man, this sucks. It's just a bad obstacle. I hate them. That's why the level with the um, Dark World 2 or 3 uses these real hard, and I hate it so much. And ironically enough, the Dark World version of this level does not have gravity. Oops. Man, come on, me boy. Get control of yourself, buddy. <laughs> They're so weird. I still don't, like, after all the hours in this, I still don't know exactly what to press to make them put me in the center. Like, why is he being thrown to the right? What's the deal? Get out of here. Me boy. Oh, that What's the deal with gravity orb? They're supposed to give you gravity, but then they take it away. This isn't gonna happen this time, I don't think. Nope. Like at this point, I'm wondering, would it be possible, like, to do a wall jump off the wall? I tried that earlier. In order to land on the other wall. Man. <laughs> Jeez. The missiles just gradually get closer and closer to where you're supposed to be safe. Almost. That was almost exactly what I was looking for there. It's telling that the stage is so freaking easy that once I've grabbed this, I, and if I get off of the orbs, I can just sit on the wall. Actually, they can't really do much about that. It's such a bad mess. Man, I just lose all momentum sometimes to bullshit physics. They're so bad. Dude, do not throw me straight down, orb. I don't know how you even do that. Upwards, please. Yeah, I'd say the problem with Gravity Orb is that the little pulsating animation is kind of misleading because that doesn't necessarily mean like 
the actual radius where they start working because this is something that you can define completely in the editor and that will work no matter depending what the animation is. Thanks for hosting, Newbie. What's up? I'm playing this video game. We're yelling at this bad stage. I'm, I'm throwing away a lot of... I was wondering what my death count would be, but because I'm doing this kind of stuff, it's going to yeah. be inflated by like 200. Oh, come on! That, that was like... I yeah, if anything, I'd say if you switch to a different character other than Meat Boy, yeah, you probably would have finished this level a long time ago. Like, with Meat Boy, this level is garbage. Uh, it's only the bandage that stopped me. I would have beaten this level five times over. With Meat Boy, even. <gasps> it wasn't even close. I still need another whole height of Meat Boy because it, it really has to be perfect. I know when I'm going to get it. He has to be touching the yellow wall in the center of the gravity well. He has to be that close to it to get the boost he needs. Yeah, but the problem is that when you finally get this boost, whenever you fall back down, then you fall with such velocity that you just go through the gravity orb and into the maggot pit. Man. It's so weird. I'm playing with the worst physics in video games here. Jeez. Like, the only way that you'd survive that is if you land directly above the gravity orb and just stay there. Give me that thing. Yo! Also, pretty pink pants either is absolutely nothing that should stop you from playing this game. This is totally a great game. It's just some parts of it are questionable, but in overall, this is a game that I absolutely freaking cherish. I wonder if I can get a fast jump onto the thing if I do it like this and grab the key at the same time. I'm so close to getting the speed I need to... But it's stopping me like it's a brick wall of uh, gravity. That's what I need. I didn't get the... I'm high enough to be uh, shot by the missiles. Height this time. I'm high enough to be shot by the missiles, but not by the bandages hitbox, because the bandage is a little higher than them. Of course it is. Oh, bad timing. I was gonna get it that time. It's been a while okay. since I've touched it. Okay, you will totally love uh, the end this night because the the game itself like almost feels like uh, let's take the worst element of Meat Boy and base the game around them. Yo, these rockets, man, they're so ill-timed. It's over and over again. I'm completely out of sync with them in lieu of where I'm getting thrown. Haha! <laughs> I feel like I'm getting worse at this. That was close. It's nonsense that that didn't work. Like, it's complete bullshit that that's not high enough. Come on. The hitbox on it is so tiny. I've run into this a couple times now where the bandage is just so small and just won't get grabbed. I was due that bandage that time, damn it. Ah, close, but no cigar. Ah, close, but no cigar again. It's so mean. Oh yeah, that's right. The, the chat wants you to do a replay of this level whenever you'll finally do. So uh, don't don't button mash whenever you do it. Oh, the problem is that the replay is limited. It's not gonna have as many meat boys as I've spent. Like yeah, we're probably at 100. We're still gonna see a lot. We're probably at 100. I think it stops at like 30 or 40. Uh, I'd say probably 50. I'm sure that it's limited. Man, this sucks so bad. Why can't I just grab it? I haven't learned anything because, again, this is just a mechanic that they shouldn't have even put in the game. And as far as I'm concerned, these gravity wells should have been limited to like the three levels that they actually work in. <laughs> in the whole game, there's only a few. They don't need to be the primary driver of the level. They just belong in the background. I wonder if I can. I'm gonna try something else here. I can't believe I couldn't get it on that one. Come on. Yeah, you you were dangerously close. Such garbage. Ugh.
What? I thought I could wall jump to get the exact positioning, maybe, after I grab the key. We definitely want to grab the key. No, personally, I wouldn't say bad things about the fan because I'd say these are the physical objects in the game that were the most reliable. These are fans in circles. That, that's exactly what they are. Yeah, it's a 360 degree fan. They work the same way, at the same pace, and 360 degrees. Man. <laughs> I wish they didn't sideways, but I feel like they pushed me sideways so bad. I think they let you fall downwards too fast. Like, it seems like they let me fall pretty weirdly. For as strong as they're pushing me left and right, they aren't pushing me up. I wonder if they really are evenly distributing the gravity here. I hate to give up on it because I know you can fucking do it, and I know I did it this way before, but what the hell am I doing wrong? I don't even know. I can't even get anything done here. We've been on here this too, too long. At this, at this point... Ah, fuck it, yeah. I, I have steam launch. Let's see if I can actually get the bandage with me, boy, now. I've got it this time. Now I need to survive. Nah, I'm not going to because I lost my momentum. I should have grabbed the wall. I thought I could keep going because it was working, but... Just couldn't hold on to it. Ah, the rock. The missiles. Well, I have the technique, maybe, to force the stupid thing to give me more and more height. I think I need to stick out to one orb, not two. And keep on coming in on it diag diagonally. Freaking rockets, man. The weird thing about them is that they're designed to not harass you if you're in the center. They're designed to harass you if you're going for the bandage. Which makes this level really easy for a Dark World level. Or, uh, whatever. Up, oh, please. Not enough? Really? How? Why? <laughs> Why does the launch suck ass sometimes? I don't know. Up. Oh. Alright, Super Meat Boy installed and launched. Nice work. So, God, this game is fucking loud. It is. I don't know what they were thinking with the sound balance on the menu song. It's like it's a 30 person volume and yet it's louder than you are. Alright, 5%. What the hell, man? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I can't quite get the bandage anymore because it doesn't exist. <gasps> Man, damn it. I can't believe I get hit by that rocket. I was so close to getting to the wall. I was not focusing on where those were. Okay, <sighs> hold on. I think I need to launch death mode. That sucks so bad. Dev mode. Well, in order to be able to access the level with the bandage in it. Oh, I see. Come on, man. Why is it throwing me right that time? Well, at least I'm consistently getting the bandage now. That's a that's a big hurdle past. I can't believe how shitty it's being about physics, hey. Okay. I did it. 518. That sucks. I didn't play my replay. I hit the wrong button. Sorry, folks. I don't think you're missing much, honestly. Ah, no, game. Why are you so loud? Oof.
So most of this level is just floating here. It's a really bad stage. <laughs> Jeez. You only have to deal with the rocket every once in a while. And even if you um, grab the wall, you don't have to deal with anything. Is my replay deleted if I replayed it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Gah. We gotta get the A plus rank here. We didn't get that. So he's being very careful. Man, those rockets. Are so obnoxious. Wait, did you finally get the bandage? Yeah, I beat it. Oh, alright. I'm well, trying to get the I guess I'll right see now. how long it takes to get for me to get it in comparison. I'm trying to get the A rank so I can do this level in Dark World later. Yeah, just a uh, oh. Ah, I, I fucking had it. Okay. Here's eight meat boys. Yeah, this is what you'd be looking at. It's not too interesting. What? Gross. I knew there'd be some levels that would hold me up for a long time because of the, um, the nature of how different they are. Where am I? Oh, I see. What? I need that bandage down there. What? Oh, come on. <laughs> Thing takes forever to unseal. Damn, those things are really obnoxious, those zombies. I'm not really sure how to manage that one yet. I gotta make them go left quickly. Like, honestly, the more I'm looking at this, the more I think I never get this bandage as me, boy. Why not? Easily uh, done. <laughs> yeah, sure. I never switched characters, except for the ones that absolutely were mandatory, and those really annoyed me because I did not want to switch characters. I want to play Meat Boy, I'm playing Meat Boy, I'm playing Super Meat Boy, I'm not playing Super Niger. Rogmo. Why not? Probably a good game too. Who knows? If I want to play Ogmo, play Ogmo. I mean, I don't know. I'd rather. I'd still rather play Super Meat Boy level with Ogmo. Okay, I've finished Rapture 1. I think I've got most of it. Let's, uh. We'll worry about bandages in a bit. I'm going to go back to the start and do Dark Rapture. It begins. The real pain. The actually <laughs> challenging garbage. Some of the worst levels in the game begin here. Um, Fontenelle and that will be interesting, but we'll see how this goes. A welcome soundtrack change. Oh. Not hitting that jump yeah, right. But the question is, how long are we gonna hear this soundtrack now? Not long enough, honestly. Oh, 
dying to every single saw blade. <sighs> I do feel like he hangs on the wall longer than he should. That's always been a complaint I've had about this game. That's like the one thing that feels bad. He doesn't have the air control because he's touching the wall. If it weren't for that, I, geez, I would not die a lot of the times that I do. And the solution, ultimately, is just to stay away from walls because of that. comes Gravity Orb level 2. With 10 times the pain. Yeah. We have to do a couple of these super elaborate light jumps, and they are so bad. At least on these levels, I could go back to the map and it wouldn't count as a death when I was trying to cheese this. If I were falling and it didn't look like I was going to make it. The second one is really nasty. I dislike the first one a lot, but the second one is truly disgusting. We have to weave between saw blades based off of a light bounce. I hesitated too much. Man, stuck on the wall. You can bet your ass that I'm holding right when I'm dying on those walls like that right there. Uh, I sure am. I'm just hoping he'll let go. He does eventually. It just has like a second of delay on it that they programmed in. He just holds on. Um, you can jump off the wall, but that's not... That's like a Super Mario jump. You don't really want that. You want to let go of the wall. Just straight up, just release it. And he doesn't do that very quickly. Okay, we're getting close to the... Yeah, this is it. This is the worst. Hopefully I can beat this stage faster than the other one that caught me up for so long because this one's the one I'm expecting to be stuck on forever. Eight gravity orbs in this stage, boy howdy. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, really. Okay, that's part one. We're halfway through. Gotta do them all in one go here. and then get back to the center. <sighs> we gotta go under those, not over. Man, come on. <laughs> They're so unpredictable. I don't know how anyone mastered these. I know they did. I just don't get it. They, they probably worked out exactly what would happen if they ran towards it and waited exactly this long. They probably did something like that instead of eyeballing it. I bet it's something like that because they're just so bad. They're so bad that I don't feel like you can work with them at all. After 10,000 deaths, somebody probably memorized the stage and uh, that's the speedrun ticket for this. I hate them. Wow. Okay, that's key too. Okay, there we go. I actually pulled it off. Did you beat it? Yep. Nice With me, work. boy. Yeah. I beat that stage. I know you can do a shortcut here, but it's tricky. You can jump through this orb. And skip one of the nasty jumps. Well, we got more light orbs for you, folks. <laughs> About six more. Can't get enough of this great obstacle here. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can totally uh, cheese this level by fitting in that opening here with a good enough jump. And the final light orb challenge at the end here. One of the last ones in the whole game, really. It's pretty rough, too. 
I mean, there's still hot, there's still hopscotch. Cotton Alley doesn't have anything as shitty as this, in my opinion. I don't know. It has hopscotch, which qualifies as shitty. It ain't great, but it's not these. I hate these. These are definitely my worst levels. I just don't get the guess right on how high I'm going to go ever. Hey, get up there. Now, please. My, my meat boy. I didn't even see that bandage, so I guess yep. it's a good thing that I found it. Yeah. Great ape. Hey, that's done for. Yeah. yeah, 27 seconds is the poor time. Oh, we got Captain Viridian. Nice. A better game. <laughs> nah, it's, I actually am not sure which one I like better. Probably this, honestly. But I do like Viridian a lot. Yeah, it's like VVV is a great game, but unfortunately, there is just like there's only so much of it that you can do. Yeah. Man, damn. Oh, yeah, also, this level introduces like my big pit peeve with the Dark Rapture. Shit. Oh, my goodness. Come on, man. It has to be done the way I did it the first time, with less dying saw blades action. I'm glad the hitbox on the buttons is way better than uh, the bandage hitbox. But yeah, this is like, this is the big introduction of the thing I fucking hate, aka the tiny leaps over saw blade. Triangle jumps. All right. Oh, these, you mean? I yep. actually, this triangle jump stuff here, I don't like. I think it sucks. Yep. I'm having trouble getting it to happen. It's pretty brutal. Uh-oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I just wasn't getting yeah, the speed. It was still well attempted. I wasn't at a full dash when I started. What? I mean, it definitely was a full dash when you died. <laughs> what the hell, man? I think I need to just go diagonally. I'm not making it otherwise. Yeah, that, that, that corner jump is pretty brutal. Whoops, too late. Well, here's why you can see I never did these in one go or whatever. They're so bad. Every stage introduces so much bullshit that I can't consistently do. I feel like you can get I could get consistent at this one if I played it enough. But I don't feel like that's true of the gravity well stages. They just straight up suck. They're just bad. I never got good at those. And there's like five of them, so which one do you start on? I would have to make a choice on which one I think I'll die the most on and start with that one. And every run would be the next three gravity orbs in a row, and then then I would start all the rest when I finally yeah. got those four levels done. Yeah, I'd say like the big key of success in order like to do no death runs of this is of course you, you cannot do this with Man, like what me. the fuck? It's like you need the full cast of characters to help you out here. I was always doing it with me, boy. Maybe that's part of it. I know you can do this jump, but I, I don't know exactly how to do it yet. I just, just can't seem to work it out. I don't know if I should jump across or go over the same blade. Yeah, I don't remember how I did it personally. I think I always did like a corner jump. It's like you you have to do this twice. There's no way you can clear like the, all of this in a single jump because by the time you get upwards, the gate is not open yet. What the hell, man? Is there a gravity orb? What do you mean? There's nothing there. Yeah, I don't think so. Like if there was one, we definitely would see like the little pulse, the little pulses. Personally, I don't think there's anything. It's just a shitty, unbelievably bad jump. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's a perfect corner jump that needs to be done. I hate it. It's a triangle jump, but it's so tight, uh, and it requires wall jumping. Um, 
I need to slide almost to death and then jump. And I think it is the same, so I think I cannot jump across. Jeez. It's giving me a lot of trouble. I've died here like 10 times. Are you doing this level yes, Mike? Uh, nah. I'll save this for another time. Had enough? Uh, I I'm just uh, keeping it like for an incoming stream so that I savor it best. I understand. And I know that whenever I'll do Gate of Blood, I'm I'm using different characters. I'm sorry, Man. but uh, I am totally an advocate of using other characters. You didn't in your LP. Well, not in the main runs and everything, but I totally uh, played uh, using different characters in order like to, to do speed runs and everything. I did the jump. Yeah, there we go. Triangle jump successful. I like this stage. I don't remember how to do it, but I like this stage. Uh, the bottom is in the middle of the pole that's suspended. Yeah, yeah there we go. very specific path you must take. Yeah, follow the buttons. Here we gotta fly and we gotta get the key before it falls and it's real bad. Yep. Real bad news. Because it falls faster than you. Now you actually needed to, to keep falling in the shaft with the key. How the heck do I get over there? Yeah, like I said, you gotta fall in the, that one shaft all the way at the bottom. Oh boy, I gotta do it again. <laughs> There's a lot of soft locking in this game. And some of these yep. levels. Yeah, and although to be fair, it's not as if soft looking uh, sets you back a whole lot. It's not as if uh, these are long level. Yeah, that's true, but it still sucks. This like, level If anything, just... the longest level in the game is like a pop time of 70 seconds. They really should drop the key on an obnoxious to get to, but still doable place uh, as punishment for missing it, instead of just making you die. Uh, it's not as good. Nah, I don't know. I think this will only this kind of philosophy will only work like in a game. It will work better like in Mario. Well, here's this. This level. Oh, <laughs> what do you think of this stage? Elevator uh, I hate it. Oh, you like, hate most it. of the level is easy, but the end is absolutely fucking obnoxious. I almost made it but not quite. You gotta remember that you can do jumping to get around some of these, and you yep. get in the habit of not. You get in the habit of just running around. But... but yeah, I hate the end. This part is just can go to hell. Oh, hi. Hi, me, boys. Yeah, the zombies are back. They're in a different place. I mean, we're, I mean, we're in the dark world of Dolovol that introduces the zombies. Now at least there's oh. rocket launchers that you can use to kill them. Yeah, they do get killed by it. This is the way I control them. I jump around a lot. Ooh. Man, he's blocking the way for some reason. He just happens to be in the way. That sucks. I must have messed them up by jumping too high earlier. Yeah, because most of the time they will all they will end up like reacting directly to your jumps. Mm. Damn. Not good. You can't kill them, but it doesn't help a whole lot. So many. Yeah.
Also considering that they stopped chasing you pretty easy. Yeah. Damn it, he didn't jump. That sucks. I tried to, and Meepoe gave up. Oh. What the? How did that happen? Oh no. Okay, we gotta get past the meat fellas. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. This dumbass stage, man. Come on now. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, that was kind of unfair the way that he jumped. Uh, I'm confused by the way the keys are dropping here. Yeah, you have to... It's like there's gonna be a key dropping every two uh, changes, every two cycles of blocks. Yeah. It's another soft block stage. <laughs> Gross. Alright. Well done. I think we can go up top. No. Uh, yeah, I think you could do so in the light world level. I know you can make this jump, but I ain't doing it right now. <laughs> yeah. We've been screwing around with speedrun shit long enough here. How do I open this? Where's the button? Uh, the button is between the two saw blades. Oh, I see. Confused by the stage for some reason, just baffled by it. I mean, to be fair, it's kind of poorly labeled. It's like there's a button on the floor. It opens the way to the bandage, but the way in order to finish the level is on the bottom between the two saw blades on the pole. Yeah, I'm not sure how to get to that either. Really, that seems like the way to do it. I don't know. I remember like doing a triangle jump or something like that. I do not know how to get to the bandage. There, there's a button like under the, the left saw blade, like on the little contraption here. This is the way to open the way. Like there's a block right next to Bandage Girl, which is opened up. And you gotta go there before it closes. Oh, this level's so bad. <laughs> Why is it like this? Who designed this? I mean, there's only two people that worked on this game. Which one of those buttheads did this? Huh. And we're in there. I don't know what to do now. Uh, you have to go left. There's a hidden wall. Uh, well, not a hidden wall, but a fake wall. What the hell, man? Who put this crap together? What is this? This level's a train wreck of just bad puzzle. I don't get it. Uh, I, I mean, to be fair, the puzzle here is only press two buttons. Yeah, they're just hidden shit. Oh, I didn't make it? Come on. Guess not. <laughs> So this bottom button, what the hell does it do? I don't understand. The button on the floor opens the way to the bandage. The one between the, the two saw blades on the pole opens the way to... Uh... Uh... Man, <laughs> get me that. I can't believe I didn't grab it there. Wow, that sucks. You gotta kite the meat well. Okay. Uh, yep, there we go. All right. How do I get back up? Uh, you just, uh, yeah, you have to uh, jump back up the the shaft that you fell in. It wasn't the button, which... See, this is why this is bad. Uh, it's so poorly lit up. I can't figure sure it the out. The rapture stages are very, very... I mean, they just needed to make it a window. <laughs> they, they have the technology. It's right here in the stage. I can't seem to get back up the way I came. Yeah, now you push a button, now there you can is. jump back up. There cool. we go. Oh, great A+. Plus. Do not like that stage. Nah. Hmm. 
<laughs> Man, this stage is awkward because of where I'm at in it when I need to do these jumps. Why? Why, dude? What the hell? The Oku blocks. Everything is so poorly timed for me to go. I gotta work it out here. I gotta wait there, but the saw blade shoots right where I'm at. Or maybe try jumping straight to uh, the middle platform. I might make it. Okay, maybe not this time, but yeah. If you can manage like the perfect run all the way there, I'd say try jumping on the middle platform. Yep, there we go. <laughs> More Yoku blocks. This one I like to do fast, but it's kind of annoying to uh, yeah, work out the kinda, timing. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Also, I love the fact that the the saw blades are just hanging uh, on nothing. If I were just a little faster here. It's like this game was developed in HD, so it's like I don't I don't know why they, you know, didn't have like another building or anything in order to. Uh, have the things hang up properly. Looks like they're on the spokes to me. Ah! I need to do a really sick jump to the left of that saw blade up there. Man, what? I can't believe I touched yeah, that you one. Jump, yeah, you jumped too high. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this could be a camera problem. Done. Comes some more of this. I remember this stage. Yep, that's all of all. You can cheese a whole lot if you know what to do. Man, dang. These guys are really fast. They're cruising. You can totally do that jump there to get up there, but that's okay. So. Oh. Those things have like no limit on the speed gain they get for some reason. They can just catch you. If you don't if you don't actually lose them, you can lose them and they'll stop. But if you don't, they'll just go. Like they just get a rocket of boost yep. speed. That's why it's kind of important to well not let them go. I can't believe I didn't lose them. Oh no. I feel like this vertical hallway is a good example of what would feel a lot better if, if Meat Boy didn't stick to the wall so bad. He would uh, he'd really have a good time falling down that. Okay, there we go this time. Everybody's sleeping. You're supposed to go back and do all this nonsense. Yep. But it's possible to just uh, wall jump your way to victory. It's always possible to wall jump your way to victory. Yeah, but out of uh, unintended <laughs> turn, guys. I like this level a lot. Uh, probably one oh. of my favorite in the Rapture, but we do have to take our time a little bit. I like the yeah. aesthetic on I it. I said I don't like this level at time because this level can actually end up killing like uh, no death runs because of a glitch that makes it so that sometimes the maggots onto this one part are not set up properly, they both fall on the floor, and this makes it so that you're unable to get the, past the choke point. Like, I'm hoping at some point we'll see it happen. Sometimes the maggot just falls from the ceiling onto the floor, and that will make the level impossible. I'm hoping we also, don't see it. What do you think about that? I don't know if we no, can cheese this just one. Nice. I don't think we can. No, you can't. They actually learned from their lessons in the other level. They've sealed off bandage. So now we must play a much worse, honestly. A much worse version. We gotta do a weird jump. Once you know exactly what they're looking for here, it's easy though. You just hang on the same wall and don't jump across. Yeah, so 
all about the timing. But yeah, like the other level, it's possible to just shortcut your way by doing a wall jump up there. So all in all, it's still kind of poorly designed. Oh yeah, sure also this here. jump sucks. Yeah, I'm not sure even what to do on it. You have to do a wall jump. Like you have to hang off the... the you have to hang off the ledge and then you have to do the jump toward the lift. By doing the jump off the right ledge. It sucks. Like honestly, I never play this level the legitimate way. It just, it's so annoying. Ah, it doesn't push me. I hate the gravity orbs, man. I hate them. I jumped expecting it to give me any kind of feedback, and it did nothing. It just ignored me, boy. And I didn't get pushed down at all, and I died. This saw blade, I've learned hopping left and right is faster than hopping on the same wall. Sure. Yep. Unquestionably is faster. Man! No! <laughs> Grabbing the wall is not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, yeah, you don't have a whole lot of room. And then you have to jump through a gravity orb and two saw blades at all at once. Jeez, bad news. Bad jumps. Bad work. Hmm. Uh, oh boy. The road fly is kind of poorly located right now. Ah! Oh, oh no! <laughs> He's a tough boy! He's a catcher! Oh my god! What a fucking heartbreak of an ending! We well, gave Bandy's girl some trauma. Nah, she probably doesn't remember. Like, all of this is happening into another timeline. Damn, that's a shitty, shitty jump. Wow. It's just too tight. Yeah, that's, that stupid orb doesn't actually do anything unless you're... It's just there to defend against uh, cheese, almost. It's not affecting me in the way I expect at all. I can't use it, so... I need to just pretend it's not there when I do that jump. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm falling asleep. Yeah. Oh, that... Okay, I'm, gonna, nah. I'm just gonna aim yeah. for that platform. Yeah, it's like the platform is also really tiny. Man, damn. I I take that sex too fast. I overshoot it so much. He stops on a dime on the ground, but in the air he does not. That's where the inconsistency is. Especially if you're holding run, which for some reason affects your air momentum. Ah oh man, that thing is chasing me down so bad. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, at this point, I'd almost say maybe back away a little in order to the the
Yeah, you only need <sighs> to beat 17 levels per world in order to progress, and Damn it, what? Dark World is completely optional unless you want the true ending of the game. I mean, you still get an ending through the light world, and even then for the Dark World, you do not need to beat every level in the game. Yeah, this, this game, Light World, takes me like 20 minutes. <laughs> Pretty short. 20, 30 minutes into high on expectation. So like, if I remember correctly, I think in order to unlock the final boss uh, of the game in the Dark World, you need to be 90 Dark World levels. That sounds right. It's like, that's that's about the equi- oh. Okay, there we go. That fly's not getting us this time. Oh yeah, that's bandage. Oh yes, you're gonna love this. Yeah, I remember it. Yeah, how good are you at steering rockets in the air? And the shitty thing is that you also have like to dodge these turrets which fire at twice a normal speed. I sure do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I have spent uh, definitely a lot Oh, the rocket was almost headed for the bandage this time. Man. Somehow that slow moving sideways one is just what gets me. It's a lot to watch. Trying yeah. to steer this is my primary objective and staying alive is not, unfortunately, not always working out. The best, uh, best of ways here. Man, come on. Get out of here, you pellet launchers. Oh, there we go. Pretty fast. Yep. That's not that level, sure ain't a freebie. Yeah, you have to let the rocket launcher destroy the blocks leading to the bottom. So hey, that's a rocket launcher that fires faster than usual, which definitely makes this ordeal even more fun. Damn it. I shouldn't have tried that. Why? What the heck? Turn faster, you stupid rockets. Bad missiles. What the heck, I'm man? I'm sorry, but I played Ghost Trick, and missile is a really good dog. Oh. Almost narrowly missed. Again. It's like it landed on the block right... Ah. Oh. You keep hitting the blocks that are just beside the destructible block. Sadly that- Oh, alright, there we go. Full head-on collision. Oh, shit. Well, I definitely have the tactic for this. This, however, was not as nice. So I definitely applaud your ability for going straight to the rocket launch. Thought he'd miss. This level's tedious. Because well, the gun ball is fun normally, but it's just the band-aid. It's like it's one of the worst night, uh, one of the worst bandages in the game. That, that rocket isn't in a good place. I don't like it being off screen and firing at me. That one sucks. That's a big problem for this stage, I think. As soon as that gate opens, it's already launched and it's um, something I have to memorize. Dang. Can't believe these, these rockets are so inconsistently getting this open for me. They just do not do their spin. It's like either they, they do the spins too wide or they're too narrow. Like it's 
never the kind of spin that you want. This could have been solved just by making this four tiles wide. <laughs> That's all it needed. Then this would have been easy. I don't know if it would have been. It would have been the same thing, but less obnoxious. Ow. Nah, it's not a used bandage. It's more that whoever ended up uh, putting this bandage on is fucking dead and buried. Mummy? And the nuclear apocalypse ravaged them so hard that their bones have vanished. Damn it! Ah, give me a break. You spent way, you spent too long onto the vertical. You needed to get moving faster. Jeez, jeez. It's like by the time that rocket launcher fires, you either need to be at the bottom of the corridor or all the way out of. The trick to that rocket launcher in the second hallway is to, um, not jump. Yeah, essentially. Oh my god, yeah, that was a big trail of meat. Only like 4% four, uh, 4 of them get to have the bandage. Nah, I'd say less than that. Got like that bandage four time out of like 80. It's amazing how much faster the successful run was than the other two yeah. attempts. Like you got the bandage and you still got par, which is nice. I forget how to do this level. Yeah, there's a there's a method to the man this year. Yeah. It's... Like I think the method generally involve doing a wall jump off the left column. And then you uh, you ride, and then you jump on the right the upper column and everything. Oh my God! Yeah, these <sighs> are some. Oh no! It was too tight. It's like you, you are doing some really freaking narrow dodges here. It's like the moment that the ro the rocket launcher on top gets involved, the level gets really. Damn, it's hard to finish. Um, that's the last part that needs. Yeah, it's just there's way too much projectile spam in this logo. It's just the one on the right is in the way no matter what at the end. I need to get over there at some point. <laughs> that's all. I just need to get over there. That's all I need to do. Ugh, I went right when it was a bad time. It's kind of hard to find the right time considering that like these these turrets will always end up shooting bullets straight up and straight down no matter what ah it's like there's a turret which is uh, in diagonal while the other one is perfectly straight so therefore the this wall is pretty well covered man can't even get started anymore i mean most of it's easy most of it is just two dodges but I would like to go over there right about now, I think. Ah, trap. Making that transition to the last aspect of this. It sucks and that's all I need to do. Anyway, what do you think of Dark Rapture? We're nearly done, folks. I thought I was exaggerating how shitty these levels are. These are them. Now if I could just do them all again with no deaths. All right, real quick. Yeah, just throw that luck. Uh, apparently like, I think when I did my let's play of this, I think I died like only 60 times on this world and even then I was like, wait, how the hell did that happen? 1.1% of the community has this achievement. Yeah. <laughs> 1 in 100 are that good. Allegedly. Damn. I needed to get moving. I was wasting my time. I had an opening. I... It's so spammy. It's a lot to watch. One in a thousand, you think it's honestly that high? 
This game sold hundreds of thousands, and ain't nobody had that freaking achievement for years. Jeez. It's definitely a speedrun thing, right? Like, a speedrunner would not want to take any deaths ever, so... Yeah, but even speedrunning this level is really finicky. Damn, man. The one up top is gross. Yeah, you don't have a whole lot of time to jump off this platform once it gets going. I gotta go when that top one is horizontal. Oh, there's a saw blade. Crap, I didn't even see it. I thought I had it. I thought I had done the thing. It's not really a safe place over there to hang out for long. Damn. Yeah, just like, I'm sorry, but I'm not buying the fact that, like, uh, Zombie Boy and Maggot Boy has, like, the same uh, amount, the same percent of completion about. <laughs> like, this, uh, this is clearly unrealistic. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but beating, uh, beating Lightwood Rapture <sighs> without dying is a whole lot easier than beating it in Dark World dying. <laughs> Like, I never did it, and I will never fucking do it. Man, every time. I'm just synced up just right every time for one of those, no matter what I do. It's weird that I can't desync from them. It's like I'm trained to, to jump right when they fire, and it's wrong. It's the wrong time to jump. I should be doing... Yeah, but the thing is that they kind of always fire, so it's really hard to pick the right timing to make you leave. They fire every point for five seconds, and... I need to jump in that, that window, and I'm just not doing it right at all. There's definitely a period where there's no missiles in my way. Yeah, but it's like, they, they, I'd say they shoot, like, every three quarter of a second. Man. There's got to be a safe way to get over there. I don't know. I never had a good way to do this level. I shouldn't have been stuck here this long, that's what I think. I'm just not getting anything new happening. Oh. This level is not one that I struggle with. This much. This is crazy. I've been at the end here many oh, times. Oh yeah, maybe people just uh, cheated you. To get achievements in order to get sales, in which case, hey, uh, that's really dumb. Is that a thing? I don't know. Apparently, it was. But I'm pretty sure that at one time during Christmas, they actually ended up adding like achievements to the game. I think that was like what ended up making it so that we got chapters such as the Ooh. Kids Xmas. Oh my, jeez, wait. Yep. This crazy it's blade, a man. Saw blade shooter, and this one shoots fast. Thanks, missiles. That was nice of you. Dang. I don't like this one. This, uh, this thing's real mad. Mean. Real mean. Jeez. This part coming up is definitely a part that if I just use my brain, I shouldn't be dying to it. Yeah, it's too bad that the leaderboard got reset, because I was really freaking proud of my time for this level. Another sob that shoots, but this one's way slower. Just to make sure yeah, you this kill. one is way slower, but it's also uh, kind of hard to dodge. I feel like there's something up here. Yeah, there's a there, there's the game's final warp zone, but you need to go first. Oh, oh no, actually, yeah, yeah, never mind. You had to go there first. Now you gotta rush while that uh, gate is still open. Hey, hey, it's me and Mario. <laughs> 
Yeah, actually, that's Mario Maker here because hey, Mario Maker's got saw blades. That's right. Here comes fans in 2D. Oh, jeez. Oh man, not a big fan of this fan. This one sucks. Okay, we're through. We're through that pit of hell. I hope that's it for that. I don't want to do that again. I got lucky that it got pulled off the first try, honestly. Oh. Yeah, with that said, fan-wise, this chapter's definitely got worse surprises in store. We gotta unlock the fan. Okay, maybe not this one. This one is... Thankfully, really tame, because you don't have to do anything fancy with the fans. Oh! Yeah, essentially, this level is just skillful level, skillful jumping through saw blades. And the fans are working as they should, aka as a way to get from point A to point B. Yay! Now, last one. Yeah, last level is nasty, however. Oh no. Can I go above the... I feel uh... like I can. Shit. Yep. I think I need to go above it. Yeah, you need to go above it. Uh, there's no way you can do it below. Damn it! Ow. Don't kill me now! I don't want to do these again. Don't do it. Ah, fans are so stupid. They just don't push you enough. They're so bad. Ah. I feel like it should be way harder to fall into them than it is. They're so lousy. Well, I'm sorry, Meat Boy, but you clearly need to lose wood. At least they're not gravity orbs. Yeah, there's no gravity orbs in the 8 bit Meat Boy levels. Which makes them better. <laughs> How the heck did I get this the first time? I don't know how I did that. How did I get that much speed? There we go. There we go. Like, thankfully, the, the bandages and everything are kind of easy to get in this warp zone. I'd say the only hard part is the final level. Yeah, that seems right. Again, I still think Skyscraper is the hardest warp zone of a rapture. Yeah, come on, me boy. Come on, me boy. Yeah, use some weight, Fetzo. Survive. That's not gonna do it. Damn it, man. Will you please jump correctly, Mark? My dude! This should have been part one, not part three. Your damn life system. Alright, uh, there we go. We have a chance now. Yep. An opportunity. Yep. To do... This is all straightforward. It's just easy jumps. There we go. Level 20, Dark Rapture. I'm still missing four bandages. And, um... Uh, the game, and I think they are in Rapture, right? They have to be. Uh, yeah, they are. That's the only bandages we're missing. There's none in the last you, world. Because you got 20 in all the other worlds. Mm -hmm. I think so. <laughs> Stage was so easy. All right. Yeah. I don't know, I think they overestimated the difficulty of that final level. Let's take a look here. Uh, 5x, 4, 5, and 8. We're missing 8, 10, 11, 17, and 18. We're missing 8 and 18 here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 18, uh, it will rise with the saw blade. You have to stand in the lower left uh, portion of the screen. That's fantastic. I'm glad I'm back here. That's real cool stuff. Glad this is the level. <laughs> you know, I didn't have enough fun here. Yep, yeah, there we go. Got the bandage. I should have gotten this before. Damn, I didn't see it ever. It, 
adds nothing to the challenge. It's the worst kind of bandage. It's just a tedium bandage, and I'll have to do the level again because of it. Man, shit. Ah! Oh. They're desynced. I can't go left. I've got to... Um, I guess it does add challenge because getting down there and back up sucks real bad. Yeah. It's like, when you're down here, you're perfectly safe and completely out of arms with... Yeah, it's kind of hard to make your way back up afterwards. Let's see... Yeah, maybe just wait for the saw blades, like, to be completely out of the way. Yeah, we don't need a grade here. Yep. Let's see, just carefully make your way down here and... There we go. We still got grade A. <laughs> what the hell? How slow nah, I mean, is this? No, that's because uh, when okay. you get grade A for grade A plus for level, after you beat the level, it will always show grade A plus, no matter how long you've spent on the level. Now where is it here? How did I miss bandage? Oh yeah, so... I have no clue how you missed that bandage because it's in plain sight. Well, is it in green vision? Maybe that's why. Oh, I see it. Yep, it's right here. Right below the saw blade. Another really easy one. Yeah, with the exception of the end. The ending, I really oh, hate. I don't know why you think the ending's so bad. It ain't so bad. It ain't so bad. I think it's bad. <laughs> hey, so bad? Yes, it's bad. Hey, so bad ain't no gravity orbs. It's really bad. Hey, so bad. Okay, I give up. I don't have a stronger effect. Oh, no, that's right. I have one now. Yes, it is bad. It ain't so bad. That's a pretty good... I'm trying to identify what character that would be. Like an orc from Warcraft? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Like, I still don't even know how this preset sounds because uh, I kind of don't hear the voices that come out of my mixer. Oh, I see. Oh, cookie Monster. <laughs> Let's see where the last two are here. We're looking at uh, 3, 5, 9, 12. 9 and 12. Oh, yeah, 9. Yeah, yeah. there's a bandage in there. Somebody earlier said that a bandage couldn't be in the same zone as a warp zone. Well, there you go. You were incorrect. Turns okay, out the that bandage is in the rooms. second skyscraper. You have to climb all the way up. It's like there are fake walls in there that allow you to get to, to a hidden place. Uh, wait, where is it the first one? Uh, it's it's the first, first one, I guess. I see. I see the walls. <laughs> it's it's definitely awful. It sucks real bad. Yeah. But, um, we'll get it eventually. The destructible walls are the hints. Jeez, man, that whole wall doesn't exist, and I just keep flying right yep. through it. Yep, it's fake. It's just decoration. Let's go ahead and get it first. Oh, it gets open? No, it doesn't. It's just one yeah, tile is. wide. Pain in the ass. Everything about it's painful. Hey, let me through. Okay, let's do your thing. Got it. Your zombie boys. Okay, 12. And thanks for the bits, Captain Butzer. Where's the bandage here? Uh, oh yeah, I think you need the kid. Yeah, there we go. There it is. That sure is pain. Yep, you need a double jumping character. Well, here he is. <laughs> <laughs> nice oh, look, you hit the warp zone. Didn't mean to. I tried to jump over it. <laughs> 
It's quite large. Unlike yep. Bandage Hitbox. This thing, quite large. Let's go back in. Yeah, why not? I love Mario Sunshine. What? How uh, did wait, I go there? Why are you here? <laughs> All right. Okay. Meat okay. Boy, the time shifter. Okay. Okay. Now we just get finished. Yep. He doesn't jump as high as me, boy, so he needs that double jump. Yep. And there we go. Here's a character you cannot use. Steve, design pike at Sunimiku. Here's a boss that runs all speed runs. Yep. We Which measure. It's kind of bad because it's like it's the only boss fight that you know is an actual fight. We measured. Uh, you can just do this and cheese this if you jump yep. through those. So, um, I'm not going to, but I just want to get over here. So all you do at this point is. You have yeah, to you just need drop. to jump whenever the the Larrys emerge in order to do a jump attack because afterward they just three maggots everywhere. Yeah. So the real way you're supposed to do this is just survive for a while, and they decide when they're gonna die. Man, this is loud. <laughs> oh my God! What the fuck? They're Too just the doubling somehow. Tripling. Wait, they didn't even attack this time. Normally, I thought that the very first move, at least one of them will always jump attack. Jeez. It's a. Did Pasha somehow make this boss even worse? I might not know the brown. God, just shut up, Larry. Jeez. Ah, I missed the uh, No, it's, it's the Larry's which need to go in the solving. No. More meat for everybody. So this could be over in three cycles or 300. We measured, didn't we? And somebody took a minute and 10 seconds or something yeah. as the worst time possible. Out of that that was raced. the reason why back when we did the races in 2012, we were like, uh, we're not counting the Larrys in the actual final time. It's like, just kill them in order to make your run official, but uh, yeah, the time you take against the Vosher will not count. And there we go, hits the end. We got five worlds done. I'm not gonna go after the glitch worlds now. And I think I'll save the rest for later. I didn't think I'd finish in one go. This has been uh, four and a half hours, roughly, to get this done. I figured it would take about that long. I thought maybe I could beat the whole thing in four hours, but trying to optimize some of those and trying to do some of them with Meat Boy is painful. Yeah, I'd say the fact that you uh, oh used nothing but Meat Boy definitely did not play in your favor. 11.59. Pretty steep. I think last time I played this, I had like 100 deaths. Uh, so we were 10 times worse than then. Oh yeah, that's right. I have a 106% save game currently right now. So let's see what's my deck. Whenever I last played the game. Uh, 1305. I don't think I'm gonna die 200 times in Cotton Alley or the end, but we'll see. I still There's have to get the warp zones. I'm gonna die a bunch unlocking the warp zones, and that sucks. That's gonna inflate it. Because uh, the fastest way to do that is to find a level where she's at the start and you can see her, and then take deaths until she's lit up. And it's like it's like 10 deaths probably for each one, all ultimately. Yeah, essentially. 
I don't know about any brownie skip. I don't know speedrun tricks. Not really. I'm no speedrunner. I just know a few that I picked up myself. I never noticed the Meat Boys falling in the background there. That's nice. Yeah. Unlike the noisy ass music that we've just been sitting on. That's nice. Oh yeah, for next stream you definitely need to switch to the 2015 soundtrack. Let me do that real quick. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead on into the, um... Let's go on in and listen to some of the new music. Though, honestly, this new menu music is better than the non-stop guitar. Just... I don't like that song. That's the only one on this OST that I don't like from Meat Boy. The intro music and this title screen. This music's not all bad, but like, it's a it's a bunch of different artists, and I feel like that's part of the problem. Yeah, I mean, most of the soundtrack is. Look who it is. Yep. Might as well do it. Yep. Unfortunately, we don't get the glitch music. My bad. Hold on, we can... Yeah. I mean, it's the same as the normal episode music. I like it, damn it. Ah, this level's painful because we only get three lives, but we can go back in whenever we want. Yep. It's not as... It's like, the life limit here is completely meaningless because, hey, the glitch world, it's like there's only uh, one level. This one is one of the hardest ones I felt. Yeah, I'll I'd this say one. this one is hard just because for World 1, this is surprisingly difficult. It's not unlocked. Uh, uh, yeah, where did it go? Oh my god! Fix your game, teammate! What the fuck? Hey, she's back. Uh. All right. <laughs> Do you think they'll fix it? Nah, we're never touching this game again. There we go, now it's there. Yeah, that's one. I'm... Oh no. Uh, wait, how oh, did the music switch back? I messed up the OST forever. Uh, what? We've got a mixed bag now, fellas. Yep. Is back. I'm definitely used to the old music, so there's like almost no way I would have liked a new one anyway. Yeah. It's part of the problem for me. Like, it's just not going to be as good no matter what. I, well, I like it too much. It's too good. It's an OST I would pay for. Hi, Wayne. Thanks for the sub. Or the host, I mean. I'm hoping Glitch Girl shows up here at some point. I'm just gonna go back to the map when she does it. Looking for a level where she'd be. Uh, I'd say go to uh, 210. Ah, the fan. <laughs> I can't get in. Damn. 
I'd say what doesn't help the new soundtrack, however, is the fact that uh, literally every song is of a different style. So it really doesn't feel cohesive. Yeah, they, they brought in like 10 musicians. Oh, I'm not doing this level one. I'll, I'll get my Yeah, just do the regular 210. I'd rather do a different level. Dang. Oh, she'd s spawn in. Hey. Seems like this is a waste of time to uh, do it this way. I mean, you can just... Uh... Pro propel yourself against the spice endlessly until the bandage girl glitches out. Generally, that's the best way to get her to spawn. How dare you? How dare you Sorry, propose? but the meat lives need to be sacrificed for how, success. How could you? This is way too uncommon, I feel like. Yeah, I don't know what, the, what are the exact odds of... Uh, over glitching out like I honestly never looked into it and in fact when I did the let's play when I started the let's play I didn't even know like what was the trigger that made it so that the uh, bandage girl would start glitching hmm, hmm. like you see smite will beat my final death count but the problem is that this playthrough will last 50 hours Let's see. I feel like we've, we're on like 10, 11, 12. Hey. Oh, fine. there we go. Now to do the hardest level in the video game world. Two fans. Did I spook you? Yep. Did you drop your rings? I don't have any rings. I don't know. I'm sorry. To me, that doesn't sound hospital-ish. Oh, it's this world. Huh. Oh. It's like it sounds good, but it just it doesn't sound like it. The music fits. Like this is music that will suit well a better, uh, well not a better game, but another. I um I followed most of the musicians who were on this remake on YouTube when they had done this and I was thinking that they would probably nail it but they just didn't. <laughs> I follow a lot of creative stuff, a lot of drama-free people who make things channel. So I followed almost all the musicians for this before they had made this. I already knew who they were. Man, let me in there. You freaking yeah, fan. I'd say jump as you're gonna get into the the land the the fans line of sight. That's probably gonna give you the boost you need to get up here. <laughs> I don't like this. We're just not quite there. Oh. Yeah, you could also hug the wall. Jumping with it works. Yep, there it's we go. done just right. It's like, <laughs> where's the Mario music? Speed <laughs> another. Gonna get that flawless uh, salt light world real quick while I look for this. <laughs> I mean, did you ever get it? I've gotten all but those three: Cotton Alley, Cotton Alley Two, and uh, Dark Rapture. Those three are the ones I'm missing. Uh -oh. I feel like I came really close to getting both Cotton Alleys and I gave up. 
I never really put much effort into Dark Rapture because I hate those obstacles so much. I feel like I was like on in level 18 of both Cotton Alleys and I died finally. Yo, light it up, let's do it. Give me that content. Content. Oh, there we go. Content, content is alert. here. This would have been a cool reward and not secret. They made it a secret too much, not a reward. It would be exciting if 10% of the time she lit up like this. And you could tell, and it would just make losing feel worse when you didn't pull it off. Now, this is the hardest of them. Uh, yeah, probably. I'm sorry, I'm not a giant fan uh, of... I'm not a big fan of giant courtyard with the uh, rocket launchers. It's just there's way too many chances for things to go awry. It's also got Battletoads drops. Shit! I don't think we need to wait here anywhere near as long as I was. Nah, you don't. So I think fully the middle parts are mostly very freeform, but... This part sucks. This is why it's bad. I don't like this part. This is what I consider a Battletoads drop. <laughs> Just, uh, this weird... At least you get to see it in advance so you know what's coming. Battletoads does not do. Yep, because in Damn. Battle Toads, you gotta guess. Ah, at least it stayed there now. We have two of these quarters to do. I... The missile drop doesn't get any easier. Yep, again. Good music, but not appropriate. This is not super Meat Boy-ish. Oh! Oh, what? No way! Yep. <laughs> oh, I was almost there. How dare you, Rocket? Get out of here, Rocket! You're turning on a dime, you <laughs> freaking monster! I love when Rockets do that. Ah, that sucks. That drops so bad. It's just like, to me, this music will be like a good song for an NES-style action game, like where you go and shoot down people and such. But not for a platformer. I'm, I'm just doing it too fast. Come back in. Come back in. I'm not a big fan of this, though, either. This one sucks. Yeah. Uh, on the original. It's not hard to beat this one. Man. I'm too impatient for those to be in the wrong place. It turns into a slammer after it actually starts playing, but half the song is that. Which is too bad. Oh man, won't let me wall jump yep. and it's in my way. Yep, you can, I don't think you can wall jump off uh, moving platforms. Oh, you sure can. It just well, wasn't working that time. Sometimes you can. <laughs> sometimes I'm a bad player. Go ahead and say it, Psych, it's okay. Oh, the worst player. is doing a great job as ke at keeping his title of fake gamer. That's right. Oh, come on, man. No! It's gotta be so far, I have Stop to wait rushing. there. I don't Take wanna... Take your time! I don't wanna dodge missiles, I don't wanna go. 
It's okay, there's a time to chill even when you're dodging missile. <laughs> It was your missile strat that got me into. Yep. Three missiles. One missile. Two. Three missile. Ha, ha, ha. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, perfect way to end. I'm gonna find somebody. Host, thanks for joining me, folks. We'll finish this tomorrow, uh, uh, probably. What's tomorrow? No, we will not actually. Have tomorrow, I've got a lot going on. Tomorrow we're playing um, the Queen as a group, four people, and it's going to be great. That's at nine. Before that, at seven, I've got a Mystery Triathlon match, and I probably will do a Patreon poll to see what games people want. I'm not going to marathon tomorrow, but I'm going to start playing the games people vote for on my subs and patrons list. I should have sent that out earlier, but um, I can still get the gist. I'm just going to host over to Author Blues. Y'all have a good night. Good night, everyone. There is an... There's an emote with Meat Boy in it somewhere on Twitch. Where is it? Wait, an emote? <laughs> yeah. Let's send him that. Where's the Where's the Meat Boy thing? <laughs> Hold on. Where's that? I don't see it. There it is. It's called Blood Trail. Use that. See you later, everybody. Yep. Later. <laughs>